What's up, paperwork gang? Welcome to the paperwork party. My videos are for entertainment and educational purposes only. Copyright disclaimer under section 107 and the Copyright Act 1976. Allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit educational and personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. So everything that I say from now on is allegedly. Everything I say from now on is allegedly. I have paperwork gang, let's get to it. To give a shout out to Paperwork and the Paperwork Party Network. I thank God for allowing me to come across his path and to become a part of the movement. Paperwork come with receipts and he come with the paperwork. And I love paperwork and I love Paperwork Party. Gang, gang. So basically I became a member um, to Paperwork Party only because I love what you bring to the table. I love your investigative skills. I love investigating myself. Um, I feel like you bring nothing but facts unlike other YouTubers. Um, so I love it. I'm going to be here, you know, support any, you know, other black person that I can. I'm very uh, <laughs> strict on what I spend my money on. So being that, you know, I like what you bring and it's nothing but, and you can bring proof with that. I'm always going to be a paperwork gang gang. What's up, gang? It's your boy, Earn Luke. Yeah, I'm rolling with the paperwork party. Paperwork party come with that real shit, the facts. That's F-A-C-T-S, facts. Or F-A-X, facts. Gang, gang. It's always good to see the paperwork. Gang, gang. <laughs> Thinker, it's always good to see the paperwork. Gang, gang. <laughs> thinker it's always good to see the paperwork gang gang what's up paperwork party gang 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 it's paperwork party paperwork gang 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 hit the like button let's go when you come in lego hit the like button hit the like button Hit the like button. My likes should match my views. That's right, man. Hit the All like my button. Likes hit the like button. My view. Hit the right. like button. My likes. So when you come in, hit What's the up? like button. Yeah. What's up? My likes should match my like views. Hit the share button. My likes should match my views. Hit the notification. Let go. Let go. My likes should match my views. Come on, y'all. Yeah. My likes should match my views. Let go. Hit the like button. Hey. Hit the like button, yeah. Hit the like button. My life should match my views. Hit the like button. I, I hit think the that's like fun. button. Come on, hit now. the like button. My life should match my views. Lego, a uh, Lego. My life should match my views. Let's go. My life should match my views. Uh, my life should match my views. Lego, Lego. My life should match my views. Hit the like button. What's up, paperwork gang? Gang, gang, gang. 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 Yeah. Hit the like button when you come, come in. Hit, hit the, the like, shirt, notification, sure, man. Uh, notification, man. Cash out, cash let's, out. Go, let's go, y'all. Hit the cash out. Hey, hit the cash yeah, out. Yeah. Hit the cash, hit the cash out, man. Or get your ass out. Let go. Hit the cash out. Hey, hit the cash out. Hit the cash out. Or get your ass out. Let go. Hit the cash out. Hit the cash out. Hit the cash out. Or get your ass out. Hit the cash out. Hit the cash out. Hit the cash out. Or get Get your ass out, lad. Come on, y'all. Or get your get ass out. Get the cash out, man. Yeah. Or get your oh, ass out. Oh, don't just get out, man. Come on. Or get your Come ass on, out. Come on, donate to the channel. Lego. It's going get down. Your yeah. ass out. Yeah. Get the cash out. Hey. Get the cash out. Get the cash out. Hey. Get the cash, cash out. out. Hey. Or get your hey. ass out. Yeah. Get the cash out. Come on, y'all. Get the cash out. Get the cash out. Or get your ass out. What's up, paperwork boy? It's paperwork party, paperwork gang, gang, gang. Hit the like button. You come in. Let go. Hit the likes or get the hell off my page. Paperwork party. 
I done stepped up on the stage with no script laid. Come off the fade on this page, riding with a 12 gauge. I'm spilling the lemonade. My helicopter got blaze, a condom in it with bass. They ask my real age, I'm chilling with Dennis Quaid. Hit the like button, hit the cash app, donate, don't hate. I'm in Mexico sitting on wait. Hit the like button or get the hell up off my page. Paperwork party. I done stepped up on the stage with no script laid. Come off the fade on this page. I'm riding with a 12 gauge. I'm spilling the lemonade. My helicopter got blades. A condom in with maze. They ask my real age. I'm chilling with Dennis Quay. Hit the like button. Hit the cash out. Donate, don't hate. I'm in Mexico sitting on wait. What's up, paperwork gang? Gang, gang. Hit the like button when you come in. Hit the shirt, sure notification. And hit that cash out. Let go, I let go. Hey, yo, yo, hit the cash out, man, or get your ass out. Let go. Yo, hit the cash out, nigga, hit the cash out, or get your ass out. Let go. Hit the cash out, nigga, hit the cash out. Hit the cash out, or get your ass out. Yo, hit the light button. Let's go, man. Hit the light button. Paperwork. Hit the light button. My light should match my views. Hit the light button. Hit the light button. Hit the light button. My light should make my Most gonna head. just get out, man. Or get your Come ass on, out. Come on, donate to the channel. It's going down. Yeah, out. yeah. Hey. Hey. Get the cash hey. out. Or, or get, get your, your ass out. out. Yo. Paperwork party. You know that we got it. You know I can change. Even if they tried to go make me tear that I never could change. I just got on the interview and I just had to go rap and I sang. And they know about me and they know that I'm traveling and I'm bringing my thing, yeah, yeah. Paperwork party. People, I'm jumping, I'm gnarly, yeah. Nigga, I'm calling. I watch the TV like I call it, yeah. She wanna starve me, yeah. Never gonna stop, I was starving, yeah. I finished what I started. I'm chilling with paperwork party, yeah, yeah, yeah. For real. Shout out to the gang, man. Paperwork party for life, man. Mr. Reen, they addicted to my music like nicotine. On the paperwork party, he said he got things. He called them crackheads. I know niggas that ain't got the keys to the car, but they can start it with a flesh dean. I'm from H-Town, Blue Whip, Listerine. They addicted to my music like nicotine. On the paperwork party, he said he got things. He called them crackheads. I know niggas that ain't got the keys to the car, but they can start it with a flesh dean. I'm from H-Town, Blue Whip, Listerine. They addicted to my music like nicotine. On the paperwork party, he said he got things. He called them crackheads. I know niggas that ain't got the keys to the car, but they can start it with a flesh dean. I'm from H-Town, Blue Whip, Listerine. They addicted to my music like nicotine. On the paperwork party, he said he got things. He called them crackheads. I know niggas that ain't got the keys to the car, but they can start it with a flathead. Y'all be sending contact. Y'all be sending contact. Your papa father the pet boy party to still our contact. Y'all be sending contact. Y'all be sending contact. Your papa father the pet boy party to still our contact. We go. We go. Your papa father the pet boy party to still our contact. We go. We go. Your papa father the pet boy party to still our contact. Peace. 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 No paperwork. No paperwork. Mike, Mike, check, check, yo. Season four, man. Season four, man, for real. Season four. Paperworkparty.org. Let's go, gang. What's up, family? What's going it's down, man? Y'all be still in content. Y'all be still in content. You come up on the paperwork party to steal my content. Y'all be still in content. Y'all be still in content. They come up on the paperwork party to steal my content. We gone. We gone. Yeah. yeah. Come up on the paperwork party to steal my content. We gone. We gone. Hey. Pop up on the paperwork party to steal my content. They pop up on the paperwork party to steal my content. They wig fall off. They name humble. They trying to repent. We put them on blast real fast, now I'm the bad guy yeah. They become the victim, I'm guilty because I reply right. Reporting all my content and crying, running to YouTube yeah. Demonetize the paperwork party, they pull it voodoo These bald-headed 
elderly women, she ain't gon' have that right. It's the wig on, wig off, we verify that wig on Wig off, hey. They come up on the paperwork part of the yeah, still my yeah, content sure. Wig off, gang. wig off, hey. They come up on the paperwork part of the still my content yeah, right. Y'all be stealing content, yeah, right. y'all be stealing content yeah. They pop up on the paperwork part of the still my content yeah, Y'all be stealing content Y'all be stealing content yeah. They pop up on the paperwork part of the still my content We gone Reported to steal my content. They wig fall off, now they humble, they trying to repent. We put them on blast real fast, now I'm the bad guy. They become the victim, I'm guilty because I reply. Reporting all my content and crying, running the YouTube. She monetized the paperwork, reported, they pull it voodoo. These bald headed elderly women, she ain't gonna have that. It's the wig on, wig off, we verify that wig on. Wig off. You come up on the paperwork, reported to steal my content, wig on. Wig off, hey. They pop up on the paperwork, part of the steal my content. Y'all be stealing content. Y'all be stealing content. You pop up on the paperwork, part of the steal my content. Y'all be stealing content. Y'all be stealing content. You pop up on the paperwork, part of the steal my content. Wig on. Wig off, hey. They pop up on the paperwork, part of the steal my content. Wig on. Wig off, hey. They pop up on the paperwork, part of the steal my content. Man, this season. Party, go to paperworkparty.org. Go, it's going down, man. It's your boy Paperwork, man. I'm out, I'm yeah. Out, man. Gang, gang, gang. What's up with it, Paperwork Party? Shout out to the gang. Hey, if you're in the building, hit the like button. The like should match the views. Let's run it up. Let's run it up. We live from Austin, Texas tonight. All right, we got a good show for you tonight. Let me see who in the crowd. I got Scott Jackson in the crowd tonight. Shout out to Scott Jackson, Lady J. What's up with it, Lady J? Lady D is in the house. Those are my two moderators for tonight. Sugar Brown, what's up with it? What you got going on, Sugar Brown? 22talia.m is in the house. What's up? Sherelle, what's good with you, Sherelle? Sherelle in the building, man. Donate to the channel via Cash App. D Paperwork Party, Super Chats, and Super Sticker. Shout out to my girl, Lady D. What's up with it? Paper Bag Brown in the house. Pensalola, y'all bless, is in the building. I'm starting to see what's happening. Like, y'all starting to come in at, right when the introduction go off. I guess my introduction must be too long. Because right when my introduction go off, people start coming in. It's like y'all wait for the intro. The introduction is to be watched as well. All right? So shout out to everybody that's starting to come in right now. Uh, appreciate y'all coming in. The Right One Television is in the house. Shout out to the Right One TV in the house. And Lord in the building. What's up with it? And Lord, appreciate you coming in. Just us two. Just us two. Jeremy Washington is in the building. What's up with it, Jeremy? Dunn Anderson is in the building. Shout out to Dunn. Shout out to Dunn in the house. Let me see. It's a lot of people coming up in here. Uh, I see a lot of comments. Iron Loop is it? I'm going. I'm going down the comments, y'all. So I'm not saying you got your hood. I'm just going down the comments real quick because we got a lot to get to get to her in a minute. Uh, Devania is in the house. Shout out to Devania in the house. Diamond C, what's up with it? Diamond C in the building. Joy B, be sure to hit the like button when you come in. Be sure to hit the like button. Donate to the channel when you come in. Half pint, what's good with it? Half pint in the building. Profound ruler of truth, what's up with it? Profound ruler of truth. Let me see. OG Wheat. What's up with it, OG Wheat, man? He's a member of the Paperwork Party, a.k.a. Paperclip Party. Shout out to OG Wheat, man. We love you, man. Lamont Moore is in the house, man. Wig off. Wig on, wig off. Shout out to the gang. That's that's one of our classics. Carolyn Gaddy is in the house with us tonight, gang. Appreciate everybody that's coming in. Appreciate everybody that's in the chat, too, as well. Vatina Clyburn is in the chat. Shout out to Vatina Clyburn 
in the chest tonight, gang. It's going down. Zakaya. Zakaya's in the chest. What's up with it, Zakaya? Zakaya in the chest with the paper clip party tonight, gang. Miss Petty Ash Shenanigans. What's up with it, Miss Petty Ash Shenanigans? Season one, two, three, and four. Johnny Be Good. What's up with it, Johnny Be Good? All the way from England, man. It's going down, man. Shout out to my boy Johnny Be Good in the house, gang. Sharon LeBlanc. What's up with it, Sharon LeBlanc? Doing your thing from the Virgin Islands, Sharon LeBlanc. I rock with you, TV. What's up with it? I rock with you, TV. It's going down. Let me see. Politic ground. About time I found paperwork party. Them haters can never stop the truth. They've been trying, demonetizing my pages, all type of strikes. But guess what? We in here, man. Appreciate you, Politic Ground, for uh, finding the paperwork party, man. We definitely in here tonight, gang. A-Love Kells, what's up with it? A-Love Kells, we love you. We love you, A-Love Kells, and the house is going down. No cursing is prohibited. Remember, on the new on this new channel, I'm not cursing. I know I curse sometimes, but I'm definitely not cursing on this new channel channel what's up with lenora lenora is most definitely in the building dolores matthew stepping in what's up with it make sure you hit the like button when you come in it's definitely going down now gang remember a lot of people come to the paperwork party channel because we got the truth it's been like that since 2021 it's been like that all right through all the demonetations through all the shenanigans the strikes or whatever going on we will never stop all right we will never stop. We are taking this to the next level. Like I told y'all, all right, out of all the murders that we solved, everything we've done, we will never stop. All right, so remember, gang, get your URL package. All right, we got the Young Dolph for the URLs, because remember, on the other page, I got them all on private so you can get the URLs. We got the Young Dolph, Kevin Samuels, Takeoff, and the Jackie O. All right, and remember, 300 for all of them, 100 a pop. All right. Remember, if you become a member, contact me to get your URL. If you become a member, contact me to get your URL, and I got you. All right? These are the packages that we have available at this point. All right? Now, y'all know we did the Coolio murder. We did the PNB Rock murder and Hatch. We did a lot of other murders, too. But these are the ones that people remember the paperwork party uh, by. So shout out to the game, man. And shout out to the first person passing the plate. All right, we're going to get the plate, plate, the plate, the plate passed around. <laughs> Shout out to Lindak, man. Appreciate you, Lindak. Appreciate that super sticker. Appreciate you supporting the paperclip party tonight, which is April the 16th, 2024. Shout out to Lindak in the house. Appreciate that. Ann Williams is a member of the paper party. Shout out to Ann Williams. Appreciate you coming in. Ann Williams is most definitely in the house. Appreciate you coming in tonight. Monica, I see you too. Shout out to Monica stepping in the paperwork party. You see what I'm saying? Tonight, on this beautiful day, beautiful, beautiful day, April the 16th, 2024. So remember that, gang. Just remember that. All right? I want everybody to remember that, that we do have those URLs set up. All right? That way you get the, you know, you can get your URLs. You can watch those murders that we saw. The reason I don't have them available for everybody in the world to watch them because I'm trying my best to get on netflix bet i'm trying to get us a deal so we can get off of youtube and take it to the next level all right so that's a lot of good content that i don't want people to be stealing online so i, I put them on private but y'all can see them at a small price all right just remember that gang i'm trying to do bigger things behind the scenes all right so shout out to the gang man shout out to everybody in the building now watch this guy i want everybody to wave at um usher Y'all know who we're going to be talking about tonight. We're going to be talking about Usher, and we're going to be talking about uh, Justin Bieber. Now, before I got on the live, I seen, because I just dropped this, Usher is on our Instagram, y'all. Usher Raymond is on our Instagram. Shout out to Lady D. Appreciate that, Lady D. Ain't nothing but a paperclip part. That's what it is, gang. Appreciate that, Lady D. Appreciate the donation. Appreciate Lady D donating to the paperclip party tonight. Appreciate that super chat. That's what you call a super chat. Ain't nothing but a paperclip party. All right, it's going down. Appreciate the donation. Lady D is most definitely in the house with us tonight, gang. Shout out to 22talia.m. Appreciate the super sticker, 22talia.m. Appreciate you donating to the paperclip party tonight. It's definitely going down. All right, now, Usher, I see Monica waving at you. All right, OG Week say, what's up, Usher? Everybody in the crowd, take our time to wave at Usher, y'all. 
Usher, he took out his time on his busy schedule because, you know, Usher just did the Super Bowl. He took out time on his busy schedule to come and see what paperwork is talking about. All right, now I feel kind of blessed. I feel honored now because out of all the celebrities that came to the page, and I can name a lot of them, Al Sharpton, I can go down the list. Usher came to our page today. And it wasn't number 36 people that looked at the, by the time Usher hit, it was 36 people looked at the West tonight. So Usher, since you came to the page, buddy, let me let me let everybody, what's up? Jeremy say what's up to Usher. 22 Tally say what's up to Usher. Lenora says what's up to Usher. Marsha Green say what's up to Usher. <laughs> Carolyn said, hey, baby. <laughs> Carolyn crazy. So my hey, baby. What's up with it, Sherry? Sherry in the house, y'all. So, uh, look, Lady J waving at Usher. Wow, that's goodness, PW saved L Yeah, I saved him. Come on now, Pollock. Look, Politic Graham, do you actually think that I we have more than 1,500 episodes, lives. Do you think that I would have erased them? No, I saved them and I started a brand new page. I'm not worried about these haters. I put them on. I saved them. You see what I'm saying? They all downloaded. You can catch some of them online, too, to the murder mystery. I, I, I'll take it to that, but come on now. Come on now. I got every last one of them saved. Every episode you ever seen is in the vault saved up and ready to go all right so shout out to politics going down pen uh pencil lola say what's up usher look at pencil lola waving at usher miss petty ass and then got them thumbs up man let's get the likes up man because y'all definitely be harming me on these likes i'm gonna stop asking for the likes all right just let, let's just get them up i don't even want to look at it let me see usher you know what it is shout out to paul oh, look at paperback brown he know what it is what's up sherelle saying what's up to usher Politic Graham saying, what's up to Usher? Half pint waving too. It be somebody new on your page every day, Lord. I know. I know. Come on, Zakaya. When you got the best content on YouTube and you got everybody else hating and trying to get you off of you and mad that you came back, you think Usher ain't going to come? If it feels it in your body, you find somebody who... With the do some change, you got it, you got it back when your own phone hangs up and you call right back. You got it, you got it back when you miss a day when that's a bell. Boy, when you got it, you got it back. Put me down, Usher. Don say, what's up, Usher? Sherry say, hi, Usher, baby. Put me down, Usher. I can sound your song better than you. You got it, you got it back. When your own phone hangs up and you call right back. You got it, you got it back. When you miss a day when I try to be. Oh, you got it back. Usher, why is you creeping on my page, bro? Why is you on my page, Usher Raymond? You know what, Usher? I'm going to call your mama today. I'm going to call your mama. I got a cell number in my phone. Uh, Zakaya, find out Usher's mama's name. I forgot her name. Put her name in the in the, in the, in the, in the crowd. I'm going to call Usher mama, y'all. I'm going to ask, look, Usher, I'm going to ask your mama, why did she let P. Diddy adopt you at 13 years old? All right? I'm finna ask your mama that. I don't uh -uh, no, I'm finna call her. No, you shouldn't have came to my uh, uh no. You got it, you got it back when your own phone hangs up and you oh, I'm definitely about to call Paperbag Brown. I am definitely about to call Usher's mama. All right, and yeah, Usher is creeping, Johnny. Usher is creeping. I'm definitely about to call Usher's mama. I'm not playing this tonight. No. Uh-uh, I'm not playing tonight. What's her name, y'all? Somebody give me her name. Oh, there, yeah, Janetta. There, there you go. There you go. Let me find, because I think I already, I had her number in my what's name. Let me let me see if I can look it up again, because uh, it may be already saved in my phone. But let me see if it's saved in my phone. Shout out to Aaron Luke, man. Appreciate that donation, man. Aaron Luke in the house, man. Appreciate that cash out. Aaron Luke is most definitely in the house, man. Appreciate that, gang. Let me see. 
Jonetta. I know I got her number somewhere. Hold on, let me let me see what you what you say. What what her name is? Jonetta Patton. Let me let me find us a mama number real quick. You ain't had no reason uh letting uh you ain't had no reason letting that do I don't give a care if you made your son a millionaire. All right? It, it shouldn't have happened like that. You six to seven years old, it shouldn't happen like that. You got it, you got it back when your own phone hangs up and you call right back. All right, watch this guy. I'm going to call her real quick. has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Seven, seven. Usher done text his mama, say, mama, don't answer the phone. Please, mama, don't answer the phone. Mama, do not answer the phone. Don't worry, I got another number. Shout out to the gang, y'all. Look, we already starting to show off making phone calls. I, I, I really wasn't going to do it, but since Usher is creeping, shout out to my boy Johnny. Johnny say Usher's creeping. Since Usher is creeping, guess what? I'm about to call Miss Patton and ask her a serious question. Why? Yeah, confessions. These are my confessions. That's when I thought it. You got one on the way. These are my confessions. Then I thought, I don't know what to do. It'll be part two of my confessions. And I try to save it all. Damn near died when I got that phone call. That's what his mama gonna say. I damn near died when I got that phone call. <laughs> Cause paperwork about to call your ass again. You finna get called again. Uh-uh, no, we're not playing that today. All right, so that's one of your numbers. Let me see what your other number is. Damn near died when I got that phone call. Paper clips. These are part two of my can. I heard go her other number, y'all. We're sorry. You have reached a number that is. All right. I, I know that one probably cut off. Damn near died when I got that phone call. I don't know what to do. It'll be part two of my. Yeah, they're going to be confessing. Usher, stay off of my page unless you want to come up to the panel. If you come to the panel, cool. All right. Yeah. <laughs> now you tell. Man, look, let me tell you something, Right One TV. I'm not telling on Usher. This dude's mother let him go live with P. Diddy at the age of 13. All right? 13. He said he seen stuff he never thought he would see. Now, let's fast forward to Right One TV. Let's fast forward to Little Rod. Little Rod is in his, what, 20s or 30s? Little Rod went and spent a year and a half with P. Diddy and listened to what Little Rod said happened. Little Rod woke up butt naked in the bed with P. Diddy. Come on, gang. Little Rod woke up butt naked in the bed with P. Diddy. I'm going to say this one more time, right, one TV. Little Rod woke up butt naked in the bed with P. Diddy. All right? So, since Little Rod woke up butt naked in the bed with P. Diddy, you think Usher didn't wake up butt naked in the bed with P. Diddy? Huh? I'm going to tell you something. He did. Who got Usher's number? Let's bring him in. Yeah, let. hey, I'm going to call Usher here in a minute, too. I got his number. I'm going to call Usher. Look, let me tell you something, Johnny. When I make these calls, season one, two, three, and four, they was answering the phones. Now it's season five, and everybody know paperwork going to call you. They do not answer. They just come and 
going on my page and creep all in my little, my little stories and creep all in the crowd. They do not want to answer the phone when it comes to paperwork. But let me show y'all a little rod. Let me see if I still got it queued up. Everybody know what little rod did? Do I still got it queued up? Little rod, you better be glad I ain't got it queued up. You better be. Oh, is this it? Nah, that ain't it. I was finna say. Ooh. Let me see. I, I man, little rod. Well, he, little rod said I woke up butt naked in the bed with P Diddy. Bucket kid naked. Is that it right there? Boy, I'm looking for it. He said, I woke up bucket kid naked. Is that it? Is that it? You better be glad I can't find it, Lil' Rod. You better be glad. You better be glad I can't find it, Lil' Rod. You better be glad. You better be glad I ain't got it queued up, Lil' Rod. You lucky tonight, Lil' Rod. This ain't your night. This Usher night. And this is uh what's what's uh what's his name? Uh, yeah, Bucket get naked. <laughs> we'll go Bucket get naked. Lil Rod up. We know, hey, Bucket get Bucket get naked. Shout out. To, that's how you spell it, y'all. That's how you spell it like Jeremy spell it. Bucket get naked. Woke up. Bucket get naked. That's how, that's what happened, y'all. All right. Now, if you think, cause I'm not lying on this page. All right, I'm not lying on this page. Let me show you. P. Diddy is saying that he woke up butt naked with, um, he's saying he woke up butt naked with, uh, let me show y'all. He said he woke up butt naked with Usher too. Y'all think I'm lying? I'm going to show it to you. All right, watch this guy. Just, just don't get close to the bed. Don't get close to the bed, but it's just like, yo, we want to thank you for hosting the thing, man, man. You, you, it's been a pleasure. You didn't have to do it. You did it. No, no, I definitely didn't have to do it. I, I definitely didn't have to. Uh, first and foremost, I'm not getting in the bed. Uh, you know, shout out to him and what he did. I'm just gonna, if we can, just let's let's just put the camera a little this way, just so we're not. I don't want my shot to even, like I don't want it to come close to the bed, at all. I, I should look like he fresh off a goddamn plane. I should, I should, I should. Fresh off the guard stage. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and wait him. Oh, hold on, P Diddy. Y'all used to do what? Did you just hear P. Diddy? They are in P. Diddy's bedroom right now. P. Diddy said, this is my boy Usher. We used to wake up. Come on, gang. Come on. Come on. How y'all think Usher got to the Super Bowl? Shout out to Arius Fit. Shout out to Arius Fit. How you think Usher got to the Super Bowl? You got to wake up butt naked with P. Diddy to get a Super Bowl spot. All right? F fighting over the Frosty Flakes. Shout out to Ursula Love. Fighting over the Frosty Flakes. So if this is your first time seeing this video, I'm finna play it. I'm finna show y'all. Usher's, uh, Pete Diddy say we used to, and he was 13 too. Yes. Rage Machine 3. P. Diddy slept in the bed with Usher Raymond when Usher was 13 years old. Yes. I don't got the interview of Usher talking about it, but Usher talked about it, y'all. Us to talk about. Yes, it is a deal though on the bed. Let me rewind and let y'all see the deal though. Y'all look real closely. When P. Diddy get ready to get up, you're gonna see that deal though right there. You see the deal though? Where is it? Right there. Hold on. What that deal though? It's right there. Y'all see that deal though right there on the bed? Let me move this out the way. It's a deal though on the bed. Look at look at the deal though. Look at the deal though. Come on, gang. We having church tonight. We having church tonight. Look at Usher's bed. Usher, why would you have a camera crew come in your room and film when you got a big ass dildo sitting right there on the bed, y'all? Do y'all see that dildo right there on the bed? That is a D-I-L-D-O. I'm not playing, gang. Look, look, look. It's, that is right there. Gang, look. We starting off early tonight. Look, that's a deal, though. That's not no pencil. That's not no no remote control. Do a remote control got all them damn ridges in it? Who ever seen a remote control shaped like a, a, a penis? <laughs> 
Who ever seen a remote control shaped like a penis? We have in church tonight, gang. That is a deal, though. Okay? Real, real to my dad. That's, uh, that's sad. Rio, Rio, what is that on the bed on the right of P. Diddy? Now, everybody, everybody that's seen this video before, this video old. So for the people that ain't seen this video, this is for you. Half the people in the crowd have already seen this video. All right? But this video is old. What is that? Have you ever seen a pencil with that many ridges in it? It's a deal door. Shout out to L. Frank. Deal door. Yeah, it's going down. They forgot something. Come on, Earn Luke. Come on. No, it's not a pencil paper bag. No, no. That is a fresh deal, though. That's crazy. And that's one reason Kevin Hart kept saying, I'm not going to go by the bed. I'm not going to go by the bed. No, no, no. I'm not going to go by the bed. The reason Kevin Hart kept saying, I'm not going to go by the bed, because he was looking dead at the deal, though. It's, it's P. Diddy who forgot to put it in the drawer whenever he finished doing whatever he was doing with it. P. Diddy the one forgot. P. Diddy the one getting interviewed with a big old deal though sitting on his bed. Y'all forgot that? Oh, it's going down. It's going down, gang. Yes, that's a deal though. That's a deal though. You ain't never seen a remote control that bumpy with ridges in it. All right? That's supposed to be the veins of the whatever. You know how you got veins in there? They try to make it look real. That's what that is. All right? Come on, gang. Come on, we having church tonight. Yeah, the whole video is funny. Shout out to Joy B. You right about that. The whole video is funny. All right? Now, now let's finish watching this video of P. Diddy saying that he used to wake up in the morning in the same bed as Usher. Right? Look at that deal, though. These people are sad. Don't get caught up, but it's just like, yo, we want to thank you for hosting the thing, man. Man, you, you, it's been a pleasure. You didn't have to do it, and you did it. No, no, I definitely didn't have to do it. I, I definitely didn't have to. Uh, first and foremost, I'm not getting in the bed. Uh, you know, shout out to him and what he did. I'm just going to, if we can, just let's, let's just put the camera a little this way, just so we're not, I don't want my shot to even, God. I don't want it to come close to the bed at all. I should look like he fresh off the goddamn plane. I should. Fresh off the guard stage. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, that's how, I mean, I mean. Bro, how, how you gonna say we used to wake up together? Oh, damn, pause. Just keep talking. Keep talking. We wouldn't have never figured out that you used to sleep with 13 year old Usher. Now, come on, gang. This man just admitted to sleeping with 13 year old Usher. That that's sad, gang. That's sad. We used to wake up together. So when Usher Mama sent him to go live with you, and you adopted him, for y'all that don't know, Usher was adopted by P Diddy. P Diddy adopted Usher at the age of thirteen. I thought y'all knew that. Let's go, gang. P Diddy adopted Usher at the age of thirteen. His mom used to let him go live with him. And at that big ass house that you live in, you want to sleep in the same bed as 13 year old Usher. Wow. Come on, bro. Come on. Is there a statute of limitations on that? Yeah, he slipped. Shout out to Lady J. He slipped. Johnny, all the way in England laughing. It's the boy, boy. Y'all got Johnny laughing all the way to, in England, just laughing his ass off. Come on, gang. Yeah, he was messed up off that. He slipped up. Come on, dear family. But dear family, this, look, this is what I'm saying, y'all. Even though this is a funny video and we can read between the lines on this video, what I'm saying is that this man, P. Diddy, just admitting to waking up in the same bed as a 13-year-old boy. You little nasty boy. You better be glad we don't cuss on this show. Let's hear him again. He finna... He finna slip up, gang, and he gonna let y'all know that he wake up in the bed with a 13-year-old boy. Watch this. He fresh off the goddamn plane. I should, I should, I should. Fresh off the guard stage. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, that's how, I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to. Wait a minute. I said Usher was 13. P. Diddy say he was 10. 
<laughs> God damn. What the P did it, man? Chill out, bro. Stop drinking that old weak ass Ciroc doing interviews, bro. We all know Usher. Yes. He said 10 years old, L. Frank. Yes. Usher said he was 13 when he went to go live with P. Diddy. Now P. Diddy say he was 10 years old. The nigga wasn't even on earth for 10 years? He was 10 years old? Bro, what are you doing with a 10-year-old, bro? I put three more years on it. I thought he was 13. You sitting up here waking up butt-ass naked with a 10-year-old? Then you waking up butt ass naked with, with ashy ass Lil Rod? Lil Rod don't use lotion. He ashy. Pete, you need to chill out, bro. You need to chill out. You got Johnny Lavin. His name's Slick Dick, not Frosty Face. Shout out to uh, Finny Yet Gettys. That's crazy, guy. This dude waking up with a 10 year old, Usher. And you wonder why the feds all in your crib. Grabbing all your surveillance cameras. What 10-year-old are you waking up next to now? Oh, my bad, y'all. Justin Beaver. My bad. My bad. <laughs> I, I Hey, well, now, Justin in his 20s or 30s, it, it got to be another one. It got to be another one because us ain't 10. Justin Beaver ain't 10. Nigga, how you waking up in the bed with a 10-year-old? You know, you, you don't wake up. You go to the 10-year-old's room and you wake him up. It's time to get up, Usher. Time to get in the studio. Nigga, you waking up, rolling over next to Usher. Now y'all see how Usher got the Super Bowl. All right? Yeah, you remember when he had previously did say his voice changed. That's what I'm saying, Lady D, but who, you, you don't even get close to puberty at 10 years old. I'm pretty sure every male in this audience right now hit puberty around the age of 14 or 15. I don't know. No male hitting puberty at 10. You can't even get your thing on hard at 10. What the hell was he doing with Usher at 10 years old? Ain't no way in hell nobody hitting no puberty at no 10 years old. You've been on this earth 10 years. Ain't no way in hell. His wives were always way older. He needed his mom. Shout out to Prince the German. Prince the German. P. did it. the Frosty Flake chain. <laughs> Y'all crazy. Let me see. Right. We tried to make him a teenager. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I tried to say 13. Now, he done went back and said the dude was 10 years old. Usher, these are your confessions. Fresh off the goddamn plane. Fresh off the guard stage. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, that's how. I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the over the Frosted Flakes, you know what I'm saying, before pause was invented. You know what I'm saying? But it's my brother for real. We used to... But, hey, P. Diddy to my when he was 10, I was a little bit older. I was his older brother. Bro, nigga, you 56 years old right now. I think us is probably in his early 40s or something. Now, he ain't no, bro, uh-uh, no, I ain't trying to hear that. If he was 10 years old, you had to be well in your 20s. You had to be like 27 or, two. You, bro, don't, uh-uh, no, you better do the math. Somebody better do the math. If Usher was 10 years old, P. Diddy had to be like 29 or closer to 30 or something. Come on, gang. They better y'all better do the math. Y'all better do the math. I've got their plane. Fresh off the guard stage. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and I mean damn pause, but like that's how I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the over the Frosted Flakes, you know what I'm saying, before pause was invented, you know what I'm saying, but it's my brother for real, we used to actually wrestle off of the, off of the Frosted Flakes because he used to always get up early with me, and now he's one of the richest stars yo, in the world, and I'm yo, like, what, what the, the fuck did Puff just say? I better not, no homo, no, just, just don't get close. Now, wait a minute, P. Diddy just, and that Pencil Loader, shout out to Pencil Loader for doing the match. Pensalola did the math. Pensalola said that P. Diddy was 26 years old. She just did the math. Shout out to Pensalola. So Usher is 10 years old and you 26. And you used to wake up in the bed with a 10-year-old and you 26. All right, P. Diddy? I don't, I'm not judging nobody, bro. I'm not the judge. I'm not God. I'm just giving the facts on this show. 
I have nothing against P. Diddy. I ain't got nothing against Usher. All right? And since we know Usher is in the crowd, these are my confessions. All right? For everybody just coming in the room, Usher was on our Instagram page today. Creeping, y'all. Creeping in my story. All right? The Usher. The Super Bowl Usher. All right? The nigga that just performed at the Super Bowl was creeping on Paperwork's party page today. That's why people tell me all the time, they be like, Paperwork party, man, you bigger than what, you know, they try to make you. The whole world know who you is, Paperwork. It's just that, you know, you shadow ban and stuff like that. I said, I can understand that. I think I think somebody else told me who that uh, Arius fit the other day. Let me know. Hey, bro. And then people tell me all the time. So we already know that the Paperwork Party is a big movement, and we've been doing this, and people know who we are. People already know that. You see what I'm saying? People already know that. So when you got somebody like Usher coming to your page, Usher want to know what's going on with the Paperwork Party. And I'm going to let you know what's going on with the Paperwork Party. We about to call your mama back one more time. Let me call your mama back. Call the number I know it may be hers. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Seven seven zero seven five four three zero six two is not available at this time. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Yeah, how you doing, Miss Patton? This uh paperwork, uh Usher Raymond came to my Instagram page today. And uh, I just got one question for you. Can you call me back? Because I need to know, why the hell did you let P. Diddy adopt your son when he was 10 years old? All right? We trying to figure that one out. All right? So, Miss Patton, when you get this message, give me a call back at this number that's on your answer machine. Or you can come to uh, my Instagram like Usher did. All right? But I need to know, why did you let P. Diddy adopt your son at 10 years old. Okay? All right. Bye-bye, Miss Patton. All right, gang. I left a message. Look, I'm going to start leaving messages now. Y'all don't want to answer my calls. Y'all want to creep on my pay. I'm going to start leaving messages, okay? I'm about to start leaving messages. All right, Usher, so call your mama and ask your mama to check her voicemail because I'm about to start leaving messages. All right? We need to know why did she let uh, P. Diddy adopt you when you was 10 years old, and did she know that he was feeling on your boo hooty, your boo hooty, your boo hooty, boo hooty? They done locked up Usher. Well, I mean, I, I mean, R. Kelly, it's crazy because when they locked up R. Kelly, I was really kind of pissed off because R. Kelly had some good music. All right, they need to leave R. Kelly alone, let him out. Some I don't know. You know, let him go. Because P. Diddy, the one need to be locked up, y'all. I'm feeling on your boo hootie, your boo hootie, your boo hootie, your boo hootie. Oh, yeah, she got paid. Shout out to L. Frank. She definitely got paid. You don't you don't drop your 10-year-old son off to P. Diddy without getting a check. Yes, yeah, she got paid. Shout out to uh, L. Who was that? L. Frank. L. Frank said he paid her. Yes, she got paid. But somebody else said something about L.A. Reed in the comments. I think L.A. Reed is the one that probably paid her. Hey, do me a favor, y'all. Um, Diddy, Diddy ain't got no music, Marie. Everybody else got music. They, they, they bought. Look, they boycotted the mess out of R. Kelly. Spotify took his music down. Apple Music took it down. Google. Everybody took his music down. It's like, what's really going on? We like listening to R. Kelly. Okay, so he had sex with a couple of 17-year-olds. Okay, and what? If y'all gonna throw him in jail, throw him in jail. Don't take his money from Don't take his music. You know, we like our Kelly music. All right? That's just like what you saying, Marie, take the music away. That's just like them saying they gonna take away Biggie. Because that's his music. Biggie music. Mace music. Little Kim. He claimed all that for bad boy. 
All right. But he do got the love album. Y'all don't don't forget about the love album. The one where he was in bed with all of the producers of the love album. What's LA Reed? Zakai, give me LA Reed. Uh what the LA stand for? I forgot what it stand for. I'm gonna call LA Reed real quick. Give me, give me LA Reed what the LA stand for. Let me call LA Reed too. These people are crazy. All right. Now I think that uh, I think that Usher Mama may have read that mess. Well, she probably don't listen to her messages already. So let's see if she answer the phone. Your call has been. All right. She she ain't going to answer. Shout out to my boy, I rock with you TV, man. Appreciate the donation. Appreciate I rock with you TV in the house, man. Today is April the 16th, 2024. I rock with you too, man. Appreciate that donation. Appreciate you passing the plate. It's definitely going down today, gang. Today, Tuesday, man. Appreciate everybody coming in. I rock with you TV 424 is in the house, gang. It's going down. Isaac, so that's his name. Let me, let me uh, see if I can get his. And let me know how old Antonio is. Let me see. Antonio, because he when he married the Pebbles, when L.A. Reed married the Pebbles, y'all, Antonio Marcus uh, Reed. Let me try to find his number. <sighs> yeah, how old is he? he no, nah, that ain't him. He ain't 39. He definitely ain't 40. Uh, he might be 67. Let me know how old he is. I'm looking at the crowd. How old is Antonio Marquise Reed? Y'all know the call. I think she was on season three doing the same thing. Getting, getting, it, getting it in. How paperwork, you know, did he bust Usher a whole? Ooh, ooh, Ver Vernicia. Do you got some paperwork to prove that? Y'all, do y'all are y'all reading this on the screen? What the hell? What are you talking? Are you for real, Vernicia? He he did him like that. Ugh, golly. I send me, send me some paperwork, Vernicia. Let me see what you. Yeah, send it to me. Let me see. Uh, you say he's sixty something. Is he sixty seven? Let me see if this him. Let's see if this him. I found I found one that's sixty seven. This is sad, gang. This is sad. Antonio Reed. Let me see if this him. Uh, jobs. Oh, Universal Music Group. Yeah, that's him. All right, let me call. Let me call L.A. Reed, y'all. This is this is getting. This, hold on, let me call L.A. Reed. The service you're attempting to use has been restricted or is unavailable. Please contact customer care for assistance. Oh, don't worry, I got a better one. We're sorry. Your call cannot be completed as dialed or the number has been disconnected. Please check the number. Which one is it? It can't be completed as dialed or the number been disconnected. The woman lying, y'all. Yeah, he's 67. She lying. He just paid that bill last month on that number I just dialed. Yes, paper. He did have to go to the hospital, and that's when his mother got custody back. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. So Usher had to go to the hospital because... He was hospitalized by, oh, Lord. That's how he got herpes. What? Oh, no. So she did know and didn't do it. No, she didn't do nothing. Y'all, that's, uh, y'all, I didn't know that about Usher, man. Usher, since you, I know you reading these comments, Usher. They said something about you had a herpes and 
P. Diddy bust another hole. You walk around with two holes. I ain't say that, man. They said that. That's nasty, y'all. That is gross. Let me see. Uh, I'm looking. Uh, L.A. Reed got a whole bunch of phone numbers. Let me see if he still got this number. Oh, hell no. Thank you for calling Universal Music. We are currently closed. To use our dial by name directory, please press 1. To repeat these options, please... Please use your telephone keypad to enter the first two or more letters of the person's last name. Stephanie Perez. Extension two one two three three one two zero six three. To complete your call to this person, press one. To hear the next name, press two. To repeat the Kathleen Reinhold. Extension two one two three three one two five three six. To complete your call to this person, press one. To hear the next name, press two. To repeat, Matthew Peterson, extension. I ain't got time for him to go through all them names, y'all, to get to uh, L.A. Reed. L.A. Reed knew what was going on. Hold on, here go. Hold on, here go another one. Hold on. Since Mailbox is not currently accepting messages because voicemail has not yet been activated, please try your call again later. All right. Nobody's answering the phone today, okay? That was L.A. Reed, gang. That was L.A. Reed. Shout out to my boy, Cecily, man. He just getting in. Cecily, oh, just now getting off of work. Appreciate you coming in. That's one of my moderators. Appreciate you sliding into the paper party. Cecily, look at the screen. Usher has been creeping in our instagram all right he's been creeping but guess what i ain't tripping we done called his mama try to figure out why she gave us away at the age of 10 years old we done call uh let me see what's the name uh la reed he ain't answering the damn phone but you know what we got more uh to do we're not tripping all right for y'all that don't know this is a picture of usher and but i think on this picture usher by about 15 to 16 because i do got a picture of us when he was 13. He looked real young too. So if he was 10, damn, you been had wait a minute, you been had us for the majority of his life. <laughs> you been you been had Usher the majority of his life. The majority of his life, nigga. Y'all are life partners. All right. Usher and P. Diddy are life partners. They are life partners, y'all. This man been had Usher since he was 10 years old. I bet you you was at the Super Bowl, too. Notice how they kicked in uh, his dough after the Super Bowl. Notice how they waited till the Super Bowl was over to kick in P. Diddy's door. If they would have kicked your dough in before the Super Bowl, Usher would not have did a great performance, y'all. That's why Usher did so good at the Super Bowl, because they hadn't kicked the dough in yet. The fans are smart. They waited right until the Super Bowl was over to kick your dough in because they knew that you were life partners with Usher. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Lord, help me, Lord. Let me see. Laura Ham is the name of the lady who was suing Usher paperwork for giving her herpes. Oh, so P. Diddy gave you herpes, allegedly, allegedly, and 
you gave Laura Ham herpes. Miss Petty has shenanigans. If you know how old Laura Ham is, let me know and I can call her right now. All right, find out how old she is and I'll call her right now. All right, find out how old Laura Ham is and I will give her a call right now to see why uh, the herpes was there. All right, shout out to Pensalola, man. You know we be pre preaching the truth on this channel, man. You know we don't play. Shout out to Pensalola. Yes, Ursha has her allegedly, allegedly, and it was a girl said he gave it to her. Now I'm really curious if he gave it to. Oh my God, Chili! Shout out to Silver Clark. Y'all remember Usher used to date Chili, y'all from uh uh the the waterfalls. Don't go chasing waterfalls, Chili. They used to date. I remember that. Let me see. Usher even used Biggie's line. Better not leave your girl around me. True, true player for real. That's my niggas for real. I ain't going to lie, y'all. I was in the military when that song came out, and I was overseas fighting the war listening to that song. Situations will arise in our lives, but we gotta be smart about it. In that occasion, you don't have to call me. Hey, it's okay, girl. Cause I'm a. Oh, no. He said, you don't have to call me. It's okay, because I'm going to be all right tonight. And guess who was in the video with him? P. Diddy. Oh, Lord. Now I know the what. Now I know why he said you don't have to call. Now I know why, Ursa. Now I know why you said you don't have to call. You said you're going to be all right, because P. Diddy with you. You don't have to call me. It's okay, girl. I'm going to be all right tonight. Oh, my God, Usher. Now I see why you told a girl. I'm like, wait a minute. How you going to be all right if she don't call, my nigga? Like, you know, she got it. You, got, you can't say that. But now I know why. Now I know. Now I know why you said in the song, you don't have to call. It's okay. I'm going to be all right. And then they go P. Diddy in the damn video. Lord Jesus, help. It's okay, girl, because I'm going to be all right tonight. You don't have to call me. Hey, it's okay, girl, because Diddy's over my house tonight. <laughs> oh, girl, you say, you say. Yo, some real zesty freak out. Shout out to 100J, man. It's oh, speaking of zesty. Yeah, we, we still ain't got on what we supposed to be talking about, man. You don't have to call me. It's okay, girl. Because Diddy's at my house tonight. You don't have to call me. It's okay, girl. Because Diddy's at my house tonight. Damn, Diddy. Damn, Diddy. Damn, Diddy. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, look, Usher, we're going to give you a break real quick. We're going to give you a break. We're going to give you a break, all right? We, let, let's get on Let's get on Justin Bieber. Now, y'all know I already called Justin Bieber mama. And if you was in season four, you heard the conversation with me and Justin Bieber's mom. Who remember when I was on the phone with Justin Bieber's mom in season four? Who remember that? I don't know where her number is, though, y'all. I ain't going to lie about that. Let me see if it's... Oh, there it is. So I did save it. Who remember that? Who remember? I'm looking at the crowd. Okay. Let me see. Uh, you remember? TC remember? Let me see. Cecily remember? Half Pint remember? All right. So for y'all that's new to the channel, Lady J remember? You've been saying it tonight. I know Joy B. I know Joy B. Hey, that was my song back in the military, Joy B. Because us, you remember when us did a little dance with it? Man, that was the shit back then, man. I wouldn't have never been saying if I knew he was talking about P. Diddy the whole song. He said, you don't have to call me. It's okay, girl, 
I'm going to be all right tonight. And I always wonder, like, how, how the hell he going to be all right to shit on Kyle? Diddy was there. Shout out to Joy B, man. Oh, Joy B, you remember the call? All right. Leslie. Shout out to Leslie, man. Leslie's a member of the uh, Paperclip Party. What's up, Leslie? Leslie, remember the call? You know, since he was a case linger for the L.A. changed every number. Yeah, he definitely. I just called like five of his phone numbers, and he definitely changed every number. You're right. Yes. That's something that all these celebrities are starting to do is change their number. All right, Jeremy, remember, Monica, remember. All right, y'all, so look, we called Justin Bieber's mama, and we talked to her on the phone in season four, all right? In season four, we was trying to figure out what was up with Jamie Foxx. Remember, I had a phone call with Jamie Foxx's daughter. I talked to Jamie Foxx's daughter's real father, and I talked to her mother. We All that's in season four. All right, y'all can find that. In season four on the Jam matter of fact, it's on the Rumble too. You can go to Rumble. Shout out to my Rumble crowd, y'all, because we live on Rumble too right now. So I'm about to call uh I'm about to call Justin Bieber's mom. All right, I'm about to, I'm about to call his mom. I don't know. And I know this this cell number good. So if she don't answer the phone, y'all, that means she's screening her calls because she answered it last time I called. All right, but I will call from my iPhone 15, though. I called her from the 14 last time. Let me call her from the 15. I'm sorry, but the person you called has a voice mailbox that has not been set up yet. Let me text her, y'all. I think she'll text back. Let me see. Call me uh, right now. Okay, I just text Justin Bieber's mother. Her name is Patricia Maletti. All right, I just texted her and told her to call me right now because we need to know uh, why did you let Justin Bieber be adopted by P. Diddy? It's a pattern. It's a pattern. P. Diddy loved waking up with little 10-year-old boys, allegedly. Justin Bieber was probably 15. I think Justin Bieber said he was 15. Uh, let's see. Let's see, y'all. Let's see. Let, let's hear Justin Bieber talk about it. All right. Now, watch this, gang. Watch this. So, as soon as you turn 16, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to let you rock this every time you come right. like, Yeah, this going to be yours. <laughs> So, every okay. time you come to LA, it's a little dusty, but you know, come get the front shot in. Man. Right, that out. Minute. Woo. Okay. Okay. All right, so, so I'm going to be driving this yeah, next yeah. year. Yeah, when you get 16, you come down there, you got to, you know, wear your seat. I mean, I'm 15. Everything. You could ride in the passenger seat. I got my permit. Now that, not yet. No. All right, no, 16. No, no, no. You're not 16. ready. Slow All down. Right. Let's slow down, Josh. Okay. And slow down, one, okay? One step at a time. But, yeah, yeah, the keys is yours when you, you know, when you get 16. You're All good right. to go. I'm good to go. Yeah. All right. And then, when you get 18, you get the house. Now, wait a minute. Did y'all see P. Diddy lick his lips when he told Justin Bieber, when you turn 16, I'm going to give you this Corvette. When you turn 18, I'm going to give you my house. That's some shit. That's what you tell a female, y'all. Look. I'm not judging nobody, bro. This is a, everything I'm saying is allegedly on this channel. But that's what you tell a female. That's what I would tell a female, like, hey, you know, her, this, 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 this car yours, and when I get the draws, you get the house. That's all that means, y'all. When I get the draws, you get the house. When I get the draws, you get the house. When I get the draws. You get the house. P. Diddy must not got the draws yet. You don't be promising this dude you finna give him a house in the car. Bro, what are you doing? And y'all seen him lick his lips. I'm finna rewind this. Y'all can see him lick his lips. Soon as he say, I'm gonna give you this car and you get the house, he licked his lips. He did that same thing with Rick Ross. Let me show y'all. Look how P. Diddy looking at him. P. Diddy looking at him like he's a snack. Like he's a snack, y'all. You know how you look at a snack like, man, I'm finna eat that, man. What is that? Oh, that's that new piece of cake my mama made. Ooh, look at that. P. 
P. Diddy is looking at Justin Bieber as if he was a snack. What the hell is going on with P. Diddy, y'all? Why are you looking at Justin Bieber like he's a snack? He is not a snack, okay? God dang, P. Diddy. Yeah, when I get the draws, you get the car. When I get the draws again, you get the house. That's all I heard. That's all I heard. I ain't heard nothing else. When I get the draws, you can get the car. When I get the draws again, you can get the house. That's all I heard. That's all I heard. That's what he doing. Listen to P. Diddy and look at his face because he definitely finna lick his lips. Yeah, the, the booty meat. That's what it is. And look, this is all allegedly on this show. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. All right, P. Diddy? You be having some fine-ass women around you. And you ain't giving them no calls. I ain't heard you tell now one of them fine-ass women you be walking with that you about to give them the house. All right? All right. Maybe I'm not paying attention. All right? Maybe I'm not paying attention. I ain't heard now one of them fine-ass women say, hey, you get this car. I heard you say, get away from my car. I don't, I don't see you talk to some fine-ass women and say, get away from my car. What are you doing standing by my car? Justin Bieber is about to give you the draws, bro. That is a 15-year-old boy. You know he finna give you them draws. You know he finna give you them draws. And the good thing about the 20th century or the 21st century, whatever, is, is the thing, is, is like, you know what I'm talking about? What we do is we can go back on watch videos on this shit. This shit was going on way back when, before videos was even, you know, this, this was going with Quincy Jones. Before, before they even had iPhones and shit, Quincy Jones was doing the same stuff P. P. Diddy doing. Quincy Jones was doing it to Michael Jackson and them. Y'all know how they gave, when Michael Jackson first came out with the Jackson 5, how they was giving Michael Jackson gifts and all types of stuff. They were doing the same stuff to Michael Jackson that they did to Justin Bieber. They just didn't have iPhones to catch it on camera. Quincy Jones saying, hey, little Michael, hey, you like this car right here? Yeah, okay, you'll be driving it next year when you turn around. Oh, I'm going to give you my house, too. You wouldn't believe Quincy Jones and... And Barry Gordon and them was talking a little bitty Michael Jackson like that. But guess what? They didn't have iPhones back then. So now you fast forward to now, we got iPhones. We get to see this little nasty stuff going on. Jesus, help me, Lord. I told y'all we about to have some church. I told y'all. Shout out to uh, Finey Gettys. I told y'all. I saw a pic on YouTube. Don't know if it's uh, out of there. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ. Send it. You know, Venetia, you got a lot of stuff to send me, Venetia. You got a lot of stuff to send me, Venetia. Send it to me, Venetia. He trolls. Yeah, that boy say, nah, for real. Shout out to OG Week. Facts. Motown Predators. Ha, <laughs> you crazy. Diana Ross. Hey, y'all didn't know Michael Jackson fucked Diana Ross? Excuse my French. Dirty Diana. Oh. Dirty Diana. Look, that's the reason Michael Jackson made the song Dirty Diana. Michael Jackson had sex with a grown-ass woman named Diana Ross. He was so disgusted for having, or probably got touched. He probably didn't work. He probably, she probably just touching on him. Michael made a song on his solo album, Dirty Diana. You dirty ass woman. I was just a little boy when you was feeling on my thing. Dirty Diana. Michael was telling you in the song. Dirty Diana. Oh. Dirty Diana. Baby, won't you leave me alone? Y'all got Michael messed up, man. They messed Michael up, though. Diana Ross had sex with Michael Jackson. Quincy Jones had sex with Michael Jackson. Who else had sex with Michael Jackson? I can go down the road. I can I can keep talking. I can keep going down the road. 
Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly. All right. Now, Justin Bieber, you need to make a song called Dirty Diddy. Dirty Diddy. Ow. Uh, dirty Diddy. Ow. You made Dirty Diddy. You woke up next to me. Uh, dirty Diddy. Yeah, because you are dirty, Diddy. You need to go take a bath, Diddy. Go take a shower. Sit up here giving this little 15 year old Caucasian boy a car. It's some black people want a car. It's a little black boys running around Chicago, the little ghettos. They need a ride. Nah. Nah. I'm going to give it to my little boyfriend, Justin Bieber. I'm going to give you the house. I'm going to give you the car. Y'all did the same shit to Michael. Y'all see how Michael Jackson turned out? <laughs> Look, I, I love Michael Jackson, but y'all see how he turned out, y'all. Y'all see that? Everybody always come out. Something the matter with Michael Jackson. Go back to the people that groomed him. The people that groomed Michael Jackson. That's why Michael turned out like that. Golly, Michael just didn't, he, Michael, look, Michael's smart, y'all. But they made him the way he was because they groomed him and did him dirty. All right, man, let's look at this grooming in action right here, man. All right, so, so I'm going to be driving this yeah, next yeah. year. Yeah, when you get 16, you come down and you got to, you know, wear your seat. I mean, I'm 15, thing. you can ride in the passenger seat. I got my permit. Not that, not yet. No, 16. No, 16. No, right. 16. Slow right. down. Let's slow down, Josh. Okay. Let's okay. slow down. Okay. One, one step at a time. But yeah, yeah, the keys is yours. And you, you know, when you get 16, you're good right. to go. I'm good to go. Yeah. All right. And then when you get 18, you get the house. You okay. get the mansion. Okay. I yeah. get the mansion. Yeah. So where, where, where are we off to now? Where would you like to go? Um, I mean, wherever you want to go. Where, where are we going? <laughs> we just. So check this out, yo. Um, Justin, he's in, you ever seen the movie 48 Hours? Right now, he's having 48 Hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives. Like Now, y'all missed that part. He said, we having a 48, we're going to be together for 48 hours. Him and his boy. So not only is Justin Bieber, the little 15-year-old, going to go out on a date. With a 40 year old man named Diddy, it's another little boy that's chilling with him that didn't get on camera. So, y'all missed that. So, whoever already seen this video before, you see how he said him and his boy. So, Justin Bieber was smart enough not to come by himself to chill with Mr. Diddy, but he did bring a homeboy with him. So, it's like a two for one. You got two little 50 year old boys with you, two for one. So y'all missed that part. He said him and his boy. So he did bring a friend with him to go out on a date with Diddy. They're, they about to go out on the, Look, y'all, they about to go out on a date. For y'all that don't understand what's happening right here before y'all eyes, they are going out on a date. Period. All right? The same thing that he did to, uh, to Usher, taking Usher out on a date at 10 years old, waking up in the bed with Usher, at 10 years old. Now he's doing it to Justin Bieber. They about to go out on a date. So all you fine ass women that wish y'all could go out on a date with P. Diddy, you have to compete with a 15 year old boy named Justin Bieber, y'all. And y'all wonder why these people be getting these hits. Justin Bieber can't sing to me, y'all. I was wondering how that little nigga got all these fans and how, how is he, you know, getting all these hits on the radio? Because he's getting hit from the back by P. Diddy. This music industry is disgusting. The real talent, you never see the real talent. You only see the people that's complying. The people that's having sexual relations with these people. The people that's actually doing the dirtiness behind closed doors. Those are the ones that get the Grammy Awards. And those are the ones that get the hits. It ain't about talent no more. That's out the door. It's about whoever will lay down with me. That's the one that we pushing. 
And I'm going to go back. I'm going to tell y'all again. I think that P. Diddy and, and, and Biggie Smalls did something. I'm just letting y'all know that. I think P. Diddy did something with Biggie Smalls. Because the way P. Diddy operates, you got to have some, you got to get that man some sex or something, y'all. I'm just being real. I'm telling y'all the truth. I'm giving y'all the evidence. Look at Mason Bella. I called Mason Bella the other day. He acted like it wasn't him on the phone. It was you. Uh, uh, I think you may have the wrong. No, nah, that's you, Mace. I know your nigga. I listened to your whole CD when it dropped on Bad Boys, nigga. I know how Mace sound. All these people scared to answer the phone. All these people scared to talk because they know what they did with P Diddy. And just like uh, P Diddy liked to go hang out with uh with uh TD Jakes, he liked to hang out with uh with Biggie Smalls. Same shit, different toilet. All right. Somebody said, yeah, Mace lived with him too. Shout out to Michael. Mace lived with him too. I called Mace the other day. I'm on the phone talking to Mace. He's literally changing his voice while we talking. When he answered the phone, it sounded like Mace. By the time we got off the phone, he sounded like a, a, a goddamn Italian maid from another country. Come on, gang. Come on. I love Biggie too, Justice. You, you hear it? it hurts me to say that. Justice, I love Biggie too. Look, I can show you a video of Biggie blowing a kiss to P. Diddy. Somebody sent me a video the other day. P. Diddy and uh, Biggie was sitting next to each other. They was blowing kisses to each other, Justice. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you that video probably tomorrow. Whoever sent me that video, send it back to me. Whoever sent me that video of Biggie Smalls blowing kisses to P. Diddy, send that video back to me. I want to show y'all that so y'all won't think I'm just making shit up. Did he promise Lil Rod in the war? <laughs> he said, did he promise Lil Rod? He put him at the bottom of the list too on the uh on the uh on on the album, y'all. Biggie, uh, Biggie, Rick Ross, and T.D. Jake, same body type. Shout out to the. I told you, I told you, I told you. Uh, but Will and Diddy, uh, friends. At least Mace found God. They all find God, Michael. Michael, look at Craig Mack. We got some new flavor in your ear. This um, a new flavor in your ear. He found God. Mace found God. Everybody that deal with Diddy, they eventually go find God. When you should have had God before you deal with Diddy. You should have been and had God. I know to go find God. If I ever get a chance to meet Diddy, I'm, I'm, I wish I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I will have God, though. I'm going to have my Bible with me. I'm going to have my Bible with me. All right, let's go. Let's finish seeing this nasty, these two nasty people from the guard on a date. Justin, you just, Justin, look at you smile on that screen. Nigga, your life has turned crazy. Okay. It's a little dusty, but you know, come get the front shot. Man. Man. Okay. Okay. All right, so so I'm gonna be driving this yeah, next yeah. year. Yeah, when you get 16, you come down and you gotta, you know, wear your seat. I mean, I'm 15. Thing. You could ride in the passenger seat. I got my permit. Now that, not yet. No. All right, no, 16. No, no, no. 16. Ready. Let's slow right. down. Let's slow down, Justin. Okay. Let's slow down. Okay. One, one step at a time. But yeah, yeah, the keys is yours. When you, you know, when you get 16, you are good right. to go. I'm good to go. Yeah. All right. And then when you get 18, you get the house. Get the mansion. Okay, I yeah. get the mansion. Yeah. So where, where where are we off to now? Where would you like to go? Um, I mean, wherever you want to go. Where, where are we going? <laughs> we just so check this out, yo. Um, Justin, he's in. You ever seen the movie Forty Eight Hours? Right now, he's having Forty Eight Hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like like like, the, you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, we we can't really disclose, but um. It's definitely a 15-year-old's dream. Um, you know, I, I I have been given custody of him. You know, he yeah. signed the Usher. I'm signed the Usher. I, I I had legal guardianship of Usher when when you. Know. Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? I had legal guardianship of Usher. Why y'all think I'm trying to call Usher Mama right now? 
Why y'all think Usher came to my page today? Why y'all think Usher came to my page today? He said, I have legal guardianship of Usher. Why do you think Usher came to the paperwork party page today? Come on, gang. This dude had legal guardianship of Usher when the man was 10 years old. And you wonder why Usher came to my page. You wonder why he came to my page today. All in my stories. Because he knew I was going to talk to my people about that today. How in the hell can you get legal guardianship of a 10-year-old boy? Why y'all think I'm calling Usher Mama right now? Trying to get her on the phone. Because you signed your son over to P. Diddy. That must be some good money, y'all. That must be some good money. Somebody say, Usher better get ready to take the stand. Shout out to uh, Politic Graham. I didn't think about that. I did not think about that, Politic Graham. They may have to subpoena Usher. They may subpoena Usher. You right. That's a good one, Politic. I ain't think about that. Boys be wanting that too bad. My brothers did. I always begging to drive. This dude, no. Yeah. Yeah, all you got to do is say, hey, man, let's take a shower together, and I'll let you drive the vet. Think of him and Justin Bieber jump in a shower before you know it. Let me see. They sent Usher to the hospital. Shout out to uh, Ursula. Uh, Usher found Justin. Yeah, he discovered just, uh, Justin Bieber. And then sent him to his, his groomer. He he discovered us and then sent him straight to Diddy, the same nigga that, you know, got him going or whatever. And, and, and you know what? Whatever happened to Usher, I mean, whatever happened to uh 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 uh, uh Justin Bieber, it's Usher's fault because Usher knew the same thing Diddy did to him. He did to uh he did to uh he did to uh Justin. Same shit, different toilet. That's a shame. You're right, Marie. <laughs> Somebody said Rico. Rico what? Maybe the statute of limitation. No Diddy. No Diddy bop. Nah, no Diddy bop. Not over here. Exactly. Shout out to us, man. It's going down, gang. Tell people, watch your daughter. Man, look. Arlene. Watch your daughters and sons. Don't sign them over. Don't sign them over. Why would you let this dude have custody of your son? Come on, Arlene. That don't even make That's why Usher Mama... I ain't gonna even say nothing bad about his mama, but she shouldn't have done that. Let me see. Uh, Usher, Usher needed a break. Well, we see where it got him. Now, why I'm gonna finish playing this one. He said he got legal guardianship over Usher. We hanging out and what we doing? Um, we we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a 15 year old's dream. Um, you know, I I, I have been given custody of him. You know, he yeah. signed to Usher. I'm signed to Usher. Uh, I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he... Wait a minute. He just slipped it in and said, I have been given custody of him. Wait a minute. So Justin's mom gave you custody of Justin too, just like Usher did. You see him sneak that in real quick. He said, I have been given custody of him. So you do got legal custody of Justin. Why do you want custody of these niggas? Listen to him, y'all. He gonna say, I have been given custody of him. Oh, I had custody of Usher. Hold on. We, we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a 15-year-old's dream. Um, you know, I, I, I have been given custody of him. You know, he yeah. signed to Usher. I'm signed to Usher. Uh, I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his first album. I did yes. Usher's first album. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, <laughs> and, yeah, and, and we gonna go full, buck full crazy. Ugh. Crazy. I'm taking this out tonight. What you wanna do? What you wanna do over the next 48 hours? 48 hours. Let's go. Um, are we gonna let's just go get some girls? Let's go hang with some girls. <laughs> he said, Let's go get some girls. He was like, uh, Is that what you really want to do? Nigga, I'm finna give you the dick and you want some girls. I'm finna give you my car. I'm finna give you my house. Nigga, we get to take a shower together. I think he said, look at look at P. Diddy's face when he said, Let's go get some girls. P. Diddy got mad, y'all. Look at his face. 
He like, wait a minute, girls, nigga. Uh, I adopted you. Let me see. He adopted to avoid sex traffic law. Wow, good one, Jeremy. That was a good one, Jeremy. And he's been accused right now of trafficking. All right. So back then he was legally adopting these boys. Now he's not legally adopting them, and they got him for trafficking. Good one, Jeremy. You right. Because you can't get him for sex trafficking Justin Bieber if he has legal custody over him. You can't you can't get him for trafficking and having sex with Usher if he has legal custody over them. See, Diddy, I need lyrics are crazy. Oh my god, I know, I know. He said you are the girl. That's what I'm saying, Arlene. He's he's mad, like, nigga, what you mean go get some girls? You are my girl. You are my lady, my love. Everything I need more. I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, and, yeah, and we're going to go full, buck full crazy. We're going crazy. Crazy. I'm taking this out tonight. What you want to do? What you want to do over the next 48 hours? 48 hours. Let's go. Um, are we gonna, let's just go get some girls. Let's go hang with some girls. A man after my heart. That's what I'm talking they were mad to be like, nigga, out of all this I done gave you. I gave you the world. I gave you my car. I gave you my house. And now you want to go get some girls? Nah. Uh -uh. You know what? Not knowledge. That's like the best word I done seen in the comments all night. It's those three letters. CPS. But right now, knowledge, he's dealing with other three letters like the DEA, the FBI, the CIA. But back then, he should have been dealing with CPS. <laughs> Shout out to Knowledge, man. He should have been dealing with CPS back then, y'all. But guess what? Guess what, y'all? What y'all don't know is Justin Bieber got real smart to where he stopped messing around with Diddy. And guess what Diddy did, y'all? Look at this video. Isn't everything starting to act different, huh? You, you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you have I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, business, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my number, so. Right. Okay. My number? Yeah, yeah. Everything's good. Everything's Selling right. out arenas and everything. Mm -hmm. Starting to act different, huh? You, no, you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you have I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, business, you know. All right, Justin. The nigga gave you his car, he gave you his house, and you stopped calling him? Justin, you stopped calling Diddy? That boy say, you, you, you've been trying to get in contact with me through my people, but uh, uh, you, you don't have my new... Nah, bro. You was driving that man Corvette. You was running around his house, and you stopped calling him when you became a multi-millionaire? Diddy finna get your ass. Y'all, look how mad Diddy is, y'all. Look how mad Diddy is. Diddy is telling him, oh, okay, so now you setting out arenas and everything, and you can't call a nigga no more? You don't know who I am? Like, you don't, you know what I'm saying? You be hanging with all them girls? You, We can't hang out no more? See, on this picture, it looked like Justin Bieber about 18 or 19. So he got buku money now, y'all. He got, yeah, Diddy was calling his managers. He was like, you been calling my managers and, and they didn't give you my cell? Bro, you shouldn't have never met back up with Diddy. Diddy looked like he ready to whoop your little ass. Diddy used to spank your little ass. Y'all was taking showers together. Y'all was waking up together, eating Fruit Loops and noodles. You was driving the car vet. You was running around the million dollar house and you stopped calling Diddy? Boy, Diddy mad, y'all. Yeah, Justin sound real nervous. Shout out to Sherman. Just, hey, Justin, like, man, just keep the camera rolling because if this nigga hit me, I wanted to be on camera. I, I'm sorry, man. Like, like, bro, you ran off, you know, to my bro. What, what's going on? <laughs> DeVito family said Diddy is one sick fan. <laughs> Diddy is one sick fan. I'm with you, DeVito. Let me see, he's not gonna let a nigga take that. To, he, hey, rock boy, he let that, he gave that boy a brand new Corvette. Ain't didn't let nobody drive it but Justin Bieber. 
Justin Bieber done ran off on the nigga, boy. Mm, mm, mm. All right, let's watch this, y'all, because he definitely on his ass, y'all. This, this is the P. Diddy that says, bro, I gave you the world. I gave you the world. You were mine. Why? I gave you everything you wanted, Justin Bieber. I gave it to you. And why did you not call me? I haven't heard from you or nothing. Isn't everything starting to act different, huh? You, you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't... You I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, business, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my number, so. Right. Okay. My number? Yeah, yeah. Everything's good. Everything's Selling great. out arenas and everything. Mm -hmm. Starting to act different, huh? No, you, you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't. I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, business, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my number, so. Right. Okay. My number? Yeah, yeah. Everything's good. Everything's Selling right. out arenas and everything. Yeah. Starting to act different, huh? You, no, you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Diddy got me over here scared now. I'm like, don't hit him, Diddy. Don't hit him. Don't do it, Diddy. Y'all, Diddy is over here like a pimp, y'all. That nigga say, you acting different now, huh? Selling out arenas, huh? You don't call a nigga no more? Boy, Diddy got me over his scared. Like, don't hit him. Just don't hit him, Diddy. Do not hit him. Don't hit that little nigga. All right? You the one groomed him. You know how they do when you groom and They go, they go, he found him a girl. Look, Diddy, before you groomed Justin Bieber, he didn't have not one girl coming after him. After you groomed him and made him a multimillionaire and a superstar, now, every little female in the world wants Justin Bieber. That's your fault, Diddy. That's your fault. You thought you was going to make him a millionaire and he was going to keep calling you, keep driving your cars? Nigga, he got his own cars now. He got his own houses. He got his own swimming pool. He don't need joys now. Oh, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, Lord. Who is, who is um? Ava Barani Combs is true. Did he really die? Uh, send it to me. Send it to my email. I'll look it up. Shout out to uh, Hugh Waxy. Send that to my email. I'll look into that. I'll look into that. Because, yeah, I'm pretty sure he did adopt whoever you're talking about. He, he adopted everybody. Yeah, Diddy scared me on this one, y'all. He's trying to hear a booty bully. <laughs> this is why Diddy, Diddy a booty bully, y'all. Diddy scared me on this one, y'all. I, was, I got my fingers crossed. I was hoping he didn't hit Justin. Justin. Come on, Justin, now. Come on. Come on. Yeah, he can drive without him now, Ursula. Ursula told me now he can drive without him. He got it. Look, uh, Justin Bieber be in the car by himself now, y'all. He don't need to be in the car with Diddy. He don't need a big Diddy on the passenger side of the car. He can pull out by himself. He don't need you in the car. You know what, Diddy? Look, bro. You better not beat up on Justin. All right, leave Justin alone. You don't groom the nigga. You and nigga, you know he he gave you his guts. You was knocking his guts out at fifteen years old. Now you charging them up. But y'all, it never ends. It never ends. Watch this game. Now P Diddy meeting up with Justin Bieber, patting the nigga down for wires. He don't trust him. I want y'all to watch this, y'all. The way Diddy is about to pat this dude down, he's about to look for wires. He don't trust Justin Bieber. Watch how he pat his chest. Watch how he rub all on him to see if he has any FBI, DEA, CIA, or Fed wires. Watch this guy. Check the score. The band. Now, when you talking to somebody, bro, you don't put your hand on their chest like that. That's when you are looking for wires. If you think somebody's working for the FBI and trying to set you up, look how Diddy touching his chest. Look how he touching him. Look how he touching him. Now, look at him patting him. See him patting him? He's trying to look for wires. He thinks that Justin Bieber is working with the FBI. 
All right, gang, I'm gonna show it to you again. Matter of fact, let me type it in. I'm gonna type this in. I want y'all to really understand this. He done already groomed the nigga. Let me see. P. Diddy is patting Justin Chess for FBI wires. All right? I'm finna teach y'all the game. You done groomed the nigga. Made him a millionaire. He knows your secrets. He knows things nobody else know about you. He not talking to you. You don't get to see him no more. So the first thing you do when you see him is you pat him down for wires. Are you working with the feds? Are you an undercover DEA agent? Are you working with the FBI? Are you working with the CIA? Watch this. If somebody talking to you, man, they just patting you on the chest like that. I ain't gonna lie. Somebody did me like that before, bro. And I was like, what the thing is patting on me like that for? That nigga thought I was working with them boys. Look how he got his hand on his chest. Did he like, up? Oh, he ain't got no wires. Yeah, he know Justin the Fed. He know, he know if anybody, shout out to Jeremy. He know if anybody gonna bring him down, it's gonna be them, them boys that he adopted and them boys that he groomed. Them boys that he adopted and them boys that he groomed, those are the ones that can bring him down. Now, you should have been patting down Little Rod, nigga. That's probably why he took Little Rod clothes off, y'all. <laughs> Little Rod, Little Rod woke up. Little Rod, poor Little Rod. Little Rod woke up butt naked. No FBI wires or nothing on him. Little wire. Oh, somebody say he wireless. Now his hair and butt. Play. Ah, ha, ha. Arlene, I'm going to get you, man. Y'all, listen to Arlene. Somebody, he got a butt plug and hair and wires in his hair. <laughs> I'm going to get you. Oh, shout out to Arlene. Arlene crazy. Somebody, he got a butt plug and he got wires in his hair. Man, boy, Arlene, you quit with that. You might be right, though. You might be right. That boy is rubbing on his chest. He trying to make sure he ain't working with them feds, boy. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. That lets you know PD must be a... PD must have worked with them FBI before. For him to be patting on him like that and rubbing on Justin Bieber's chest, he know that they put the wires right there whenever they trying to set somebody up. He know that. So that means P. Diddy must have had a wire before. P. Diddy must have had a wire before. So now you don't trust your little 15-year-old uh, homeboy you adopted. You don't trust your little 15-year-old homeboy no more. That's crazy. Shout out to my boy Lucifer, man. Appreciate that. Appreciate that donation. Lucifer most definitely in the house. Appreciate the cash out, man. It's going down. Shout out to my boy Lucifer, man. Appreciate the cash out. I appreciate you coming in tonight. Look at him just patting on them. Just I'm be like, Diddy, I ain't got no wire, my nigga. You can take your hands off my chest, man. I ain't got no wire, bro. You can take your hands off my chest. So now you don't trust him no more, Diddy, huh? Mm, mm, mm. Now you don't trust him. Lord help. Shout out to my boy Luce for stepping in, man. I need to know. I don't know who Ave is. Y'all let me know who Ave is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've noticed that too. Justin Bieber is scared of P. Diddy. Justin Bieber is scared. I, look, I'd be scared of him too, y'all. If you was in a position that Justin Bieber was in, this dude adopted you at 15 years old, made you a millionaire, everybody else scared of him. He done blew up Cuddy car. I told y'all I talked to that nigga the other day too. Uh, that Cuddy dude got his car blew up. I talked to him the other day. You know, blew up the nigga car, did all this, did all that. Yeah, I'll be scared of him too. I ain't scared of him, but in the situation they in, I'll be scared of him. All right? Now, I'm going to let y'all see them pat one more time, then we're going to we get into it. That's sad. 
Gang, gang. Shout out to my boy Lucifer stepping in the building, man. Lucifer coming in. Y'all, it's going down. Yeah, Joy B say, I agree. I'll be scared of him, too. The situation that I'm in, I'll be scared of him, too. P. Diddy used to pimp just. Oh, yeah. He definitely pimped him out. Just to who, though? Who did he pimp him out to? He groomed the dude. You see what I'm saying? At an early age, just like he did Usher. Same thing he did Usher. Check this out. Um, Look at that. Look at that. Uh. I know my boy Lucifer did not come in. Look at that, uh, Lucifer. Look, uh, look who came to the Instagram today, Lucifer. Oh, Usher. Usher came to the Instagram today, Lucifer. Just, just want to show my boy Lucifer. He just got in here. Oh, Usher came to the Instagram today. You see what I'm saying? But watch this. I got one more to show y'all. I got one more to show y'all real quick. This right here really hurt my heart. All right? This right here really. Oh, matter of fact, I got two more to show y'all. This is nasty, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. no Lord help. Justin getting freaked down by Will Smith's son. Let me see. Let me see. Justin and Will Smith's son. Freaking. That's all I like to say about that. I forgot the nigga name. Uh, what what what's his son name? Is it Willow? I forgot the dude's name. I think his name Willow. All right, y'all. This is old Justin. You can have any woman in the world, but you got Will Smith's son on your. And then y'all kissing. So. Y'all at Coachello, Will Smith's son come behind you and start grabbing on your booty, and the first thing you do is turn around and kiss him? Yeah, they call Jaden. That's his name, Jaden. Yeah, Jaden Smith. There you go. Shout out to uh, Lucifer and uh, uh, the Dia family. Yeah, everybody got it. His name, Jaden. Oh, Willow is the daughter. <laughs> hey, I couldn't tell the difference. Who would ever think that Will Smith would have some crazy kids like that? Growing up watching Will Smith on Fresh Prince of Bel you never know that he would have some crazy ass kids the way he got them. That's sad, man. That's sad. Oh, Will turned his son out? Dang, Petty, I didn't know that. I did see a picture of Will tongue kissing his son one day. But I didn't know he turned his son out. Shout out to Petty Pisces. And 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 Diddy did it to Justin Bieber. And now when Will and Justin Bieber meet up, look at them niggas, bro. You are a superstar, bro. What you doing, tongue kissing Jaden? What are you doing? What the hell is going on, bro? What? Is This is sad. Yeah, just look at that for a minute. Look at Jaden Smith. I, he got his thing on Justin's booty. Will and Jada introduce their kids to the psychedelic drug. Shout out to Zakaya. Psychedelic drug. Shout out to my girl Zakaya. Let me see. Jaden Benward. Shout out to Michael. Yeah, Will pimped his son. I just like Dwayne Wade. Oh, my God. Don't bring him Dwayne Wade, son. That boy, boy, it's like the best basketball players like Magic Johnson. They sons turn out to be women. Nigga, you can't, you can't co continue the legacy of your father if your son is a, a, a he, she, which I ain't got nothing against LGB. I'm just saying. Will and Jada turn both kids out and let them do drugs. Jaden left home at 16. Wow. Shout out to Pensalola. I called her live with Jag. She went out. Yeah, she definitely went out. I, I seen her. Somebody sent me some of her going off on there. I'm going to try to get her back on, on, try to get her on the show. Matter of fact, let me see if I can call her. Because uh, she ain't answered the phone when I call. Let me see if I can. See if I can find her number. A number here somewhere. A 
another in here somewhere. It's right up in here. Uh, let me see. Uh, I can't find it, but yeah, I seen somebody sent me some of that. Six degrees of separation. Shout out to Miss Dismiss. Yeah, probably a shitty bag for real. Is that yeah, they all they all in that. They all in that. I passed that D. I passed the D. Yeah, that that, that got me by D Wade. I called another live and Jada being replaced. Wow. All right, let me see. Replaced with who? Mm. I don't know. Uh she is the shit. Yeah, I tried to uh I tried to call her. I can't look. I'm gonna get a number. I, I, it's in it's in one of these phones in front of me. I just don't know which one. I thought it was in this one. I got some phones in front of me, but I do got her number, and I'm gonna try to see if I can. Uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can call her. But this thing, it's like, bro. You know what? Justin kissed him on the mouth, and then kissed him on the jaw. I remember when Justin was thugging with some guys from Dallas. You would think he was a thug, you know, back then or whatever he was trying to do. But I don't know, bro. That's that's just crazy, bro. Dude, it's like they be it's like they be doing stuff like that to go viral. Like, is it really worth it, bro? Is it really worth it? You kissing him like he a fucking female. You just kiss Jay, uh, Will Smith's son Jay. Watch him kiss him on the mouth, y'all. Mouth, and then and then the uh and then the side. It, it, uh. Come on, Justin. Golly. Listen to Willow's song. I ain't know she had music. Shout out to Ver Ver uh, Venetia. I ain't know she had music. So what? Willow in the studio too now. Didn't know that. Didn't know that. This is this is this is what this is what we done this is what we done got to, y'all. This is what we done got to. This is the world we live in there now. It is a million females that would love to kiss Justin Bieber, but he wanna kiss on Will Smith's son. That is and the same thing with P. Diddy. It's probably a million females out there would like to be with P. Diddy. But P. Diddy would rather have little 10 to 15-year-old uh, boys. Allegedly. 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 This is sad. She's demonic. Shout out to Pensalola. All right, that's that's sad. So uh, I got one more thing to show y'all. Now, I want y'all to really pay attention to this when I'm going to show y'all. Because I got a chance to meet this guy. And uh, I didn't know all this was going on when I met him. Let me type his name, man. Let me see. Uh, okay. I like yeah. when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, you my daddy, yeah, I like when you oh, when you scrambling and scraping for shit. I like that. You know, I'll be practicing. I got yeah. Did he call another man daddy, y'all? Yeah, I love this drink. Chance, you my you. I like when you like this, daddy. Yeah, yeah, you put my bag daddy, I like when you when you scrambling and scraping when you when you scrambling and scraping for shit. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna go over with that one. Make a wish. Just blow it out. Your birthday every day. Every day he's a birthday on Drink okay. Champs, goddammit. I'm in. Where I look, Did you look back me? on where I became. Mm. Did you miss me, though? Mm. For real, because we, I'm I saying, miss, it seems like a thing. I it miss his birthday with party. Puff, man, man I but I'm talking about for your birthday. Huh? Why won't you party with me for your birthday, man? I'm, I, yeah, we we party for my birthday before. You came to my party. And, mm. No, but me and you ain't never really party, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I, P. Diddy, man. P. Diddy. P. Diddy. You tell Fabulous, why don't you party with me for your birthday? He said, bro, you came to my party. P. Diddy said, nah, but you didn't party with me, though. <sighs> you 
boy, this dude right here. I'm going to let y'all, this dude, this dude right here. So, what you telling me, P. Diddy, is you have fabulous too, my nigga? You have fabulous too? We know we can go out of line all the dudes we think that you've been with, but fabulous? You telling fabulous, ah, yeah, I went to the party, but you didn't party with me. Like, I want to party with you one on one. So you was with fabulous? <whistles> it's a cold world, boy. And P. Diddy need to stop drinking it and being on tape talking because every time he get drunk or every time he gets something in his system, he start telling everybody business. Birthday every day. Every day is a birthday on Drink okay. Champs, God damn it. I'm in. Where I look, you look back me? on where I became. Mm. Did you miss me, though? Mm. For real, because we, I'm I saying, miss, it seems like a thing. I miss his birthday party. Puff, man. Why would you tell Fabulous, did you miss me? Nigga, nobody don't miss your ashy ass, ass your crusty. Don't nobody, did you miss me? Did, did you miss me, though? You just said the same thing to Justin Bieber. I've been trying to call you. Did you miss me? Like, I couldn't get you. What you mean, did you miss me? Nah, I ain't miss you, nigga. And Fabulous acting scared, too, y'all. Fabulous acting scared, too. He's sitting there like, uh, I mean, uh, I, mean I ain't trying to. Bro, somebody beat the shit out of Diddy. Somebody smack him. How about somebody get up? I see why 50 Cent, y'all, I see why 50 Cent y'all be trying to uh, get into a fight with Diddy now. I think 50 Cent will smack him. All these grown-ass men, ain't nobody smacked them yet? All these grown-ass men, ain't nobody smacked Diddy yet, bro? Lil Rod woke up butt naked next to this nigga and Lil Rod didn't smack him? You woke up butt neck, butt neck, Lil Rod. You woke up butt neck to next to Diddy. He ain't smack him. Y'all scared? Pistolona say fabulous scared. I, bro, y'all sound scared of this man. I would have been unsmacked the hell out of him. I would have got up and smacked him. What you mean, miss you, nigga? No, I don't miss you, nigga. You can't just say, no, nah, I don't miss him. Norris said, I'm going back to the hood. Somebody needs to smack him. On the street that'll get you hurt, but did that's what I'm saying, Arlen. He I don't see how he getting away with it. These are grown ass men, though. We talking about Arlen. These men are grown. These men that they, when you listen to their music, it's like especially when you listen to Fabulous, they be talking like they real bad in real life. But then they let Diddy talk to them like he like they're some little boy, like bro, you will get smacked for that, bro. Talking about uh Shout out to uh, Ann Williams said, right, like, bro, like, ain't nobody smacked them yet. Y'all gonna let the FBI do it, okay. So y'all gonna, y'all, ain't nobody smacking them. Yeah, he was scared. Shout out to the, uh, Devonia. He was fabulous scared on this one, y'all. Y'all just gonna sit here and let this man talk to y'all like y'all his little bitty women. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to think that too, Michael. Shout out to Michael. I'm starting to think that too. Yeah, people scared and intent they intimidated by this nigga. And that's why 50 Cent not. That's why 50 Cent is not skirted. That's why 50 Cent be on his top. Cause he can't do 50 like he be doing these niggas. I, I'm I'm starting to understand now. You can't do 50 Cent like you doing fabulous. You can't do it, bro. Daddy, I like when you when you scrambling and scraping when you when you scrambling and scraping for shit. No. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna go over with that one. Make a that one. Just blow it out. Your no, birthday no. every day. Every day is a birthday on Drink okay. Champs. God damn it. I'm in. Where I look Did you look back me? on where I became. Mm. Did you miss me though? Mm. For real? Because we, I'm saying, I miss, it seems like a thing. I miss it was his birthday with party, Puff, man. I man, but I'm talking about for your birthday. Huh? Why won't you party with me for your birthday, man? I, I, we we party for my birthday before you came to my party. And, mm. No, but me and you ain't never really party. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Eyes, eyes, <laughs> eyes, eyes, brother. Oh, eyes, 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 eyes. I understand. I understand. You know what I'm saying? Yo, okay. So check this out. It's me, Tyrese. Ray J and F. Gary Gray. You know, I'm a type of nigga, I like variety, man. I uh -huh. like people that's unpredictable. Uh -huh. I, you know what I'm saying? I like different 
personality. So I was like, I never knew they would become what they are today. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but like, you know, mm -hmm. I, that sounded like the type of night I want to have in Vegas. You right. understand what I'm saying? Okay. So Tyler. So Tyrese kept now, on talking. This is a fight. This is a Floyd fight, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Tyrese mm -hmm. keep on talking about like how you got to get back for church. And we just like, yo, the night ain't start. You got to get back for church. We in motherfucking <laughs> Vegas, nigga. We're like, you can go to church next week. Now, I want y'all to really listen to that part right there, gang. He said, when we was at this party, Tyrese was talking about how he wanted to go to church. And he was like, nigga, you ain't finna go to church. We finna get back to this party. Y'all, who did we talk about last night? We talked about T.D. Jakes. Now, we said, what was T.D. Jakes doing at a Diddy party? So if Diddy would tell Tyrese, nigga, this ain't church. We don't do that, nigga. We at a party. You can go to church on Sundays. He said the same thing to T.D. Jakes. Come on, gang. I need, I need, I'm looking at the crowd. Come on, gang. Look what he just said. He just told Tyrese, nigga, we partying. We ain't worried about no church. So guess what? He said the same thing to T.D. Jakes. And you know what? This goes back to was, what was T.D. Jakes doing at the party? Was you thinking about church? Because P. Diddy said when we go to our parties, we don't think about church. We ain't worried about no church. Listen to him say it again, y'all. Listen to what he said to Tyrese. That sounded like the type of night I want to have in Vegas. You right. understand what I'm saying? Okay. So Ty So Tyrese kept now, on talking. This talk is a fight. This is a Floyd fight, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Tyrese mm -hmm. keep on talking about like how you got to get back for church. And we just like, yo, the night ain't start. You got to get back for church. We in motherfucking <laughs> Vegas, nigga. We're like, you can go to church next week. So is that the same thing you told uh, T.D. Jakes? Nigga, we at my party, nigga. You can go to church next week. So guess what, P. Diddy? Thank you for this clip because now I know that you was not at your party talking to T.D. Jakes about no church. And that goes back to T.D. Jakes told on himself last night. In this clip, you don't talk about church at your parties. So what the hell was you and T.D. Jakes talking about at your party, bro? Crazy. That sounded like the type of night I want to have in Vegas. You right. understand what I'm saying? Okay. So, Ty Shout out to Ruth. So, Tyrese kept now, on talking. This is a fight. This is a Floyd fight, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Tyrese keep on talking about, like, how you got to get back for church. And we just like, yo, the night ain't start. You got to get back for church. We in motherfucking <laughs> Vegas, nigga. We're like, you can go to church next week. You know what I'm saying? Sending your, send your thing. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing, but we in Vegas. Don't be bringing God into this city. Don't church. bring God, God into this situation. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Hold on. Don't bring God into this situation? Wait a minute. So T.D. Jakes, this is the nigga who you went to a party with. The one that says, don't bring God into this situation, bro. I right, T.D. Jakes. P. Diddy just said, whenever we go party, don't bring God into this situation. Did you hear that, T.D. Jakes? Did you hear that, T.D. Jakes? P. Diddy just said, don't bring God into this situation. So you know what, T.D. Jakes? Bro. You are guilty, my nigga. I'm sorry. Uh-uh. No. I'm sorry. P. Diddy said, whenever we go party, don't bring God into this situation. So what the hell was you doing there, T.D. Jakes? Did you take God out of the situation when you went to go party with P. Diddy? See, y'all, that's what I'm saying, y'all. That's what I'm saying, man. This, this, uh-uh. No. Uh-uh. Huh. Now, this pissed me off right here, y'all. This pissed me off. Shout out to Ursula. Don't bring God into it. Wow. 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 This crazy, y'all. This crazy. He needed T.D. Jakes to pray over his butt plug. Shout out to Arlen. Satan himself. Tyrese leaving early before the devil arrives. Shout out to Huaxi.
call T.D. Jakes and find out he's going to the party. Guess what? Guess what? This, look, watch this, Usler. T.D. Jakes admitted to going to the parties. He just didn't admit to us that Diddy didn't want God in the situation. So when you went to the party, T.D. Jakes, you didn't have God with you. You wasn't covered by the blood. It's enough blood to go around for everybody. Nope, you wasn't covered by the blood because he just said he don't bring God into the situation whenever he go party. Because T.D. Jakes was swallowing. He was one of them. Work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, guy. That's crazy. T.D. Jakes prayed over the free call so everyone could go. <laughs> he told me he prayed over the free call so everybody can fuck raw. Shout out to GND Prophet, man. No draws said, I'm going to call you back. Yep. Wow. He was a worker, not a preacher. Wow. Swallow. The handshake says it all. Did he hide money with Pastor Cakes? There you go. There you go. Yeah, so you know what I called yesterday, uh, and his his wife on the answering machine. His wife is on the answering machine, and she sound like Little Rod answering machine. Don't nobody want to pick up. Yeah, the wrong blood, the wrong blood. Wow, God get out, left the door. Mm -hmm. Let me let y'all finish hearing this. But guess what he said? He said, "Don't bring God into this situation." That's what he said, T.D. Jakes. And this is the man that you went in, uh, this is the one you went to a party with, the one that goes to a party and don't bring God into the situation. Wow. The type of night I want to have in Vegas. You right. understand what I'm saying? Okay. So, Ty so Tyrese kept yeah, on talking. This is a fight. This is a Floyd fight, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Tyrese mm -hmm. keep on talking about like how you got to get back for church. And we just like, yo, the night ain't start. You got to get back for church. We in motherfucking <laughs> Vegas, nigga. We're like, you can go to church next week. You know what I'm saying? Sending your, send your thing. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing but we in Vegas. Don't be bringing God into the city. Don't church. bring God, God into this situation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Every Gray is like, nigga, shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then you got um, Ray J. So Ray J is like, just really like, feeling like Ray J right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, yo. Don't do that. Yeah, that's what I said. That's why I said. No, we pick it up. Was talking I was talking about right no. here. Okay. This is how I, I got to pick it up from right here. Look, look at this. 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 Look Listen, oh, bro, we help me build that yeah, beautiful, that nice guy, Rastafari brand of yours, huh? Yeah. I, I come see in, you, man. I'm walking yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy yeah, birthday, yeah, birthday to you. Woo! Happy birthday to you. Woo! Happy birthday. It's fabulous. <laughs> the only nigga that got the name that I want. <laughs> Happy, birthday. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, my brother. Man, that nigga sung him happy birthday, y'all. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done, y'all. Diddy sung fabulous happy birthday. I am done. All right, gang? It's a little bit too much for me. I'm over here done. All right? This is what goes on to these are the rappers that we look up to. I'm done. Uh, what do we think male version using aftermath tampon pass gross equipment? They did. It's a whole bunch of tampons running around that table. The smell in these rooms. Shout out to Ann We. I bet it stinks in those rooms. Yeah, he's flirting with dude. Bro, look at him singing happy birthday. Bro, you flirting with fabulous, bro. Rastafari I brand of yours, huh? Yeah. I, I see, in, man. I'm walking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Happy birthday, yeah, birthday, birthday to you. you. Woo! Happy birthday to you. Woo! Happy birthday. It's fabulous. See, I couldn't be around Diddy, bro. If this how Diddy act, I couldn't be around him, bro. I couldn't be around Diddy. Diddy be flirting with the guys around him. I couldn't be around Diddy, bro. I couldn't. I couldn't be around this nigga right here, bro. And I ain't, I ain't hating or nothing. I'm just, I couldn't be around him, bro. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Joe O said in TDJ's boys, and he had all the money in the walls in this chair. Oh, my God. Oh, Joe. Oh, Joe. I heard Ray J and Danny were had a thing together. Wow. 
Now we already know about Danny Boy. Danny Boy came out. He used to be with Death Row Records. Man, this, yeah, this is. See, <sighs> Jesus Christ. Oh Lord! All right, so I got the club pass open. Shout out to Zakai in the club pass. Your shark, uh, your Sheikha, Jamal, NC, in the club pass. I just opened up a club pass. Uh, Lady J, go in the club pass and get the link and put it in the comments real quick. We two hours and ten minutes in. I definitely got a club pass open. The name of the club pass is Diddy adopted Usher and Justin Bieber at age. 14. I'm also dropping a stream yard too. If anybody want to come up real quick and say what's up to paperwork or say what's up about the uh content, you're welcome to come up real quick. But we about to end it with this one, bro, because now my head's starting to hurt. This dude done adopted us. He done adopted fucking Justin Bieber. This dude flirting with fabulous. Yeah, it's 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 crazy. It's crazy. So, uh, oh, shout out to uh, TT, TT in the club. Pal. Shout out to TT, uh, Lady J. Are you up? What's up, Roof? Shout out to my girl, Roof. Roof in the club. Pass Roof just got in the club. Pass. We finna fill up the club. Pass real quick, gang. We finna fill it up. So, uh, appreciate that pencil loader, man. You know, we try to have some good shows over here on this channel. Appreciate that pencil loader. So, yeah, so, uh, somebody put, put the uh, Zakai, you can't. If, I don't see Lady J in here nowhere. I hope Lady J didn't fall asleep. Put the uh, put the link in the in the comments. Uh, shout out to Pretty, Pretty just came in. Profit, Profit in the house. Uh, put the, put the club pass in the, in the West Nine. Iron Luke, what's up with it, Iron Luke? Shout out to Cecily. Says that if you can put the uh, put in the club pass, put the put the club pass in the comments so I can pin it to the top. Shout out to Critical Man, Critical. That's my boy Critical. Just came in the club pass. Shout out to my boy Critical in the club pass. Hey, paperwork. What's good? I just want to say one thing, man. What's Who up? wrestles with a ten year old over a box of cereal? What grown man? Wrestles with a 10 year old for a box of cereal. Bro, did it on, did it, bro. It was, you know, it's hard talking about this because, you know, because a lot of, because, you know, you look at Diddy and you think, oh, Bad Boy Records, uh, Notorious B.I.G. And it is, and then you look at what's, these, to me, it's like behind the scenes. You're like, wait a minute. This is what's happening behind the scenes? So it's really hard, my nigga, to look at this because, you know, I grew up listening to all that music, bro. And for me to have to bring this to my people and show y'all this, it's like... He it's said like, we was crazy. fighting in the bed. Oh, it's crazy. It's and crazy. Then, that and then, P.W., the way he looked at that boy, Justin Bieber, man, don't no man look at no kid like that, man. He get he gave him a house and his car, and then he got mad at him because he had yeah a, that's the video I'm talking about the second video well he you know, yeah he was he was looking like hey bro like I ain't heard from you like I know you've been calling my managers and everything and trying to here, here go my number because you couldn't get in contact with me I'm like what the hell is this going I on? I give you my number now I give it to you now you couldn't get it obviously but I give it to you now he was Look, scared to death. Think about this. The managers did not give P. Diddy his cell number. Just think how deep that is, bro. He didn't want to talk to P. Diddy, bro. The manager or, 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 or the managers didn't want him to talk to him. That could be it too. The manager didn't want, but at the same time, the manager, bro, the managers got the cell number. They could say, Oh, this Diddy, you the one got him started. You the one brought him in the music industry. Yeah, let me give you his sale number. Bro, the managers didn't even give him the sale number. That's bad, bro. That mean that mean that they didn't want to talk to you, bro. Diddy, they knew who you was. They knew who you was, bro. They knew who you was, bro. And that's crazy, bro. Like, but it a lot of things gonna come out this year about Diddy, though. A lot of things about to come out because the feds got the uh got the got the footage. So now the feds know which ways to go. 
the feds know who to go talk to, who to question, what to ask them, because you can't say, they're going to say, hey, was you doing cocaine in the kitchen on this day and you got touched on the booty by on it? They know what, because the, they got all the darn footage. They just going through the footage right now. And they going through footage that we don't even know exists. It Building be, that case. Yeah, building the case. That's why he ain't got charged yet, because they, they, the, they building the case right now. See, one thing people don't know how the feds work, the feds work backwards, y'all. They smart enough to work backwards. The police department, they have evidence when they come and get you. The feds don't work like that. The feds will come and snatch you up and then build the case backwards. And then get all the evidence. Yeah. Bro, if the police department come after you, bro, they already got evidence to come after you. The feds don't work like that. They'll come kick your dough in. The man ain't even been charged with nothing. They done kicked the man dough in, stole everything out of his house, now they building the case. That's how the feds work, y'all. So that's why he ain't been charged yet. If it was the police department, he would have been charged he already with been a charged. crime or something. How they gonna yeah. keep this man house in and he ain't charged with no darn crime? Because they work backwards. And that's how they get you every time. I gotta so, agree with that. It's going down. Yeah, he got the feds on his ass. It's going down. Shout out to OG, Critical Prophet, Pretty, Jamal, uh, Yoshika, we got my girl Ruth, TT, Zakai, and Cesar Leo in the clubhouse. Man, we about to get up out of here, man. But, yeah, this is a good show tonight. Appreciate everybody coming in tonight. Man, I'm going to let you get the last word uh, on what's going on. Appreciate my boy Johnny from England coming in the crowd tonight. I, I had my boy uh, Lucifer come in, too, in the crowd. Appreciate everybody that came in tonight. Uh, I'm going to let you get the last word, uh, Arn Luke. Well, all I can say is, listen. Diddy, if you listening, look, man, they coming, bro. They coming for you. They come. They coming. They come. Take that. Take that. Take that. <laughs> and then people are like, well, how can they? How can they kick his dough in without having no? They had probable cause. Those civil lawsuits that was filed against him with all those accusations in it was probable cause for the feds to come in and kick the dough. Now that they kicked the dough in with probable cause, now they building the case. He may not get charged for the next three, four months, but I, I bet you when he get charged, they're going to have all the evidence they need. That's why they got a 99% rate of, 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 uh, uh, of, of convictions. Shit. So yeah, he better. P Diddy need to be wary right now. But, but you taught us all something tonight too. The feds work backwards. Yeah, they work backwards. They yeah. don't work the same way. They don't. Mm -hmm. They work backwards, man. The feds work backwards. If the police department, because I didn't had my house kicked in before. You see, what I'm saying I had I had one of my cribs kicked in before. You see what I'm saying? Because they thought I was selling drugs because I had a whole bunch. They thought I was selling drugs. And guess what? They didn't find a number of few pistols when they came in. But they had probable cause and they had somebody say that I had did something on some drugs. That's how the police work. Now, when the feds come in, they'll come in and snatch everything up and you get more, you getting some charges in about the next two or three months. Ain't nobody <laughs> has to you gonna, get get them. You're going to get it. Yeah. And then they'll, and you see how they left his house messy? They leave your house all messy. So, oh yeah, that was another yeah. thing, man. They ransacked this. They don't clean. They don't got no maid crew. They don't clean up when they when they hit when they kick your dough in. They mess up your house and you got to come clean it up. Yeah, but they ransacked this stuff. Yeah, that's how you supposed to do it. That's how you supposed to do it. They, they got the man safe, wide open. They done snatched the wires out the walls, cameras out the bathrooms, everything, bro. They and look, them charges coming, and you know what? I think they finna get P Diddy for about ten or fifteen charges. I don't think he's gonna be like like a one or two, three. Nah, he finna get like ten or fifteen charges. Cause think a about Rico, it. you think they gonna hit him with a Rico? Well, he got to get the same thing. Like, okay, let let's say he get a charge for uh for grooming Usher, he got to get one for grooming uh for for Justin. That's two different charges, two different people, two different victims. You see what I'm saying? Mm. I don't know how many. I don't know how many people he adopted. He probably adopted some little white people that we know nothing about. That we don't even know about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Trafficking yeah. and sex them out. That's what five different charges on five different people that we don't even know who he trafficked. So they finna get his ass. I hope y'all learned something tonight with these videos because they finna get P Diddy. All right, and 
Usher, thank God, thank you for coming in the crowd, Usher, tonight. Uh, I know you a victim, bro, but you shouldn't have took Justin Bieber and gave him to Diddy. You should have took Justin Bieber and, and, and kept him for yourself and made him a superstar. By you passing him to Diddy, now my people got to see the video of the first time Diddy met him, and he licking his lips, all type of stuff with this little dude. All right, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to get the fuck up out of here. All right, man, we out of here, man. Appreciate y'all for coming in, man. Wig on, wig out. Be sure to go to the club, pal, because we're going to take this party to the club, pal. Gang, let go. Mike, Mike, check, check, yo. Season four, man. Season four, man, for real. Season four. Paperworkparty.org. Let's go, gang. What's up, family? What's going it's down, man? Y'all be still in content, y'all be still in content You come up on the paperwork party to steal my content Y'all be still in content, y'all be still in content They come up on the paperwork party to steal my content We gone, we gone, yeah They come up on the paperwork party to steal my content We gone, we gone, yeah Pop up on the paperwork party to steal my content They pop up on the paperwork party to steal my content They wig fall off, they name humble, they trying to repent we put them on blast real fast, now I'm the bad guy yeah. They become the victim, I'm guilty because I reply right. Reporting on my content and crying, running to YouTube yeah. He monetized the paperwork party, they pull it booty yeah. These bald-headed elderly women, see, ain't gon' have that right. It's the wig on, wig off, we verify that wig on Wig off, off. hey yeah. They come up on the paperwork party to yeah. steal my yeah. content yeah. Wig yeah. off, Let's go, gang. wig off, hey go. They come up on the paperwork party to steal my content yeah. right. Y'all be still in content. They pop up on the paperwork party to steal my content. Y'all be still in content. Y'all be still in content. They pop up on the paperwork party to steal my content. We go. We go. They pop up on the paperwork party to steal my content. We go. We go. They pop up on the paperwork party to steal my content. They pop up on the paperwork party to steal my content. They wig fall off. Now they humble. They trying to repent. We put them on black. Real fast, now I'm the bad guy They become the victim, I'm guilty because I reply yeah. Reporting on my content, they crying, running to YouTube See, run the ties of paperwork party, they pulling voodoo These bald-headed elderly women, see, I ain't gonna have that It's the wig on, wig off, we verify that wig on Wig off You come up on the paperwork party to steal my content Wig on, wig off, hey They pop up on the paperwork party to steal my content Y'all be still in content. Y'all be still in content. You pop up on the paperwork party to steal my content. Y'all be still in content. Y'all be still in content. You pop up on the paperwork party to steal my content. We gone. We gone. Hey, they pop up on the paperwork party to steal my content. We gone. We gone. Hey, they pop up on the paperwork party to steal my content. Man, it's season four, man. We ain't having that. Just wanna check out the paperwork party. Go to paperworkparty.org. It's going down, man. It's your boy Paperwork, man. I'm out. I'm yeah. Out.